three months ago, I started pranking everyone in Los Santos. My friends, my enemies, the police, the billionaires, and even Halloween villains. The objective was simple. Ruin their life. From spray painting cars to putting food coloring in their shower heads. And Michael and Amanda almost broke up because of me. I had a lot of fun pranking people. So I made a movie featuring 50 of my best pranks in GTA 5. So grab your nachos and your soda, sit back, relax, enjoy the movie. Before I forget, subscribe to my channel. Or else you might be pranked next. I've come here in the middle of the night, by the way, because Simeon isn't currently at the store. He arrives super early, so I gotta act quick. Franklin, break inside. Now, inside his store are all of these lovely cars. We got blue ones, orange ones, and red ones. And I distinctly remember Simeon telling me this a few weeks ago. My favorite color is gold. My least favorite is pink. I would banish the color pink if I could. I hate it. For some strange reason, he hates the color pink. And have you ever wondered why there's no pink cars at his store? Well, <laughs> I arrived here nice and late to grab some spray paint and turn every single one of these cars pink. Just one more car to go and we'll be done. <laughs> Simeon is gonna freak out so much when he realizes every single car is pink, but it doesn't end there, guys. I'm also gonna pour down a little bit of slippery liquid. Don't worry, this is not flammable, at least not yet. And I'm gonna pour this all over his store. Can you see how polished his floor is? I mean, with this stuff on the floor, it's gonna make it so slippery. All right, I'm gonna leave a good old puddle right outside the front door. Yes, I can hear him. I think he's about to come into the store. I think he's noticed the cars. Oh, 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 I'm <laughs> everywhere. Hold on. What's going on? No, this is really strange. So Who angry. did this? I think this is it. I think this is it. I think he's gonna slip over. <laughs> this is the best prank ever. Uh, I didn't really tell Simeon about this, but I did leave a couple of stickies underneath those cards. Are you ready for this, Franklin? Oh, oh that doesn't sound too good. Uh-oh. The entire store's on fire. <laughs> Simeon, that's what you get, dude. Oh, don't worry. He'll respawn at the nearest hospital. Look at all of the fire. No way. Oh, no. All of your lovely cars. I mean, you know what else is worse than pink, Simeon? A blown up car. Well, my job is done here. I'm gonna go and prank my other friend. Who are we gonna get next, though? Let's find out. I've been playing pranks with Michael for years now, but this one is gonna top all of them. I've adopted all of these animals, and we're going inside his house. There's even some pigs in here as well. Michael is gonna hate this, guys. Where are you, Michael? I've got a few friends for you. By the way, Michael hates dogs, but Jimmy, Amanda, and Tracy love them. So this prank is only on Michael. When Michael sees this, he is gonna freak out so much. They're even going upstairs. What is that Labrador doing? Okay, now's my chance. Let's run out of this place and keep the dogs in there. I wanna see how Michael's gonna react. This is perfect. Now let's take a look at what Michael's doing. No, guys, you can't be following me. You're gonna spoil my cover. How did they get out of the house? I can see Michael. He's sunbathing in his back garden. He is gonna get a nasty surprise when he goes inside that house. What a lovely day today. Hey, Amanda, can I get a cold lemonade? Go and get it yourself, Michael! Oh, Amanda, you never get me things. Oh, jeez, doesn't sound too good. Oh, no, there's a pig in the pool! He's definitely gonna see that. Uh, Amanda? Hey, did you know about this, too? There's a pig in the pool. Amanda! He's getting so angry about the pig in the pool. Well, I have to do everything myself around here. <sighs> now, all we need to do is wait for him to spot the... Ah! What are these? Animals. I think he's found them. Get out Scott, of my this house! Is so you! Good. This move is so it! Oh. Who locked the doors? Oh no, he pooped! Oh my bed! How could you let this happen, Amanda? How did you let this happen? Hey, Franklin, we gotta check this out. I gotta wash my sheets now for the first time in ten years! Thanks, Amanda! Okay, let's see what's going on. Oh my days, there is a pig up here! <laughs> Oh, oh, it's so gross in here. How did you poop so much? I think the poop smell actually... No, I was just standing on the dog. Sorry, buddy. Oh, don't stand in it, Franklin. Don't stand in it. Now I know why Michael's so angry. This is disgusting. Uh-oh, I think I can hear him. Oh, oh, hey, Michael. You, this was you. Get out of my house. Oh, boy, guys, he's really angry. Okay, Michael, well, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Oh, boy, this is bad. This is really bad. Franklin, we can do this. Uh, guys, please move. There's so many animals in here. Well, I'll be getting out of here. <laughs> See you, Michael. Oh, no, no, no. He's chasing me. Go, run, run. <laughs> that was the best prank ever. He was so angry with me. If you don't want to get pranked, subscribe to my channel. And I promise I won't prank you. You're gonna want to subscribe because later on in this video, I'm gonna try and do a pretty big prank on you guys. And only the subscribers are gonna know what it is. Hey, run. I'm going to the bar. Tell me if anything happens. Whoop-de-doo. Whoop-de-doo. You got it, bye.
boss! You got it! I've never seen Trevor sprint before. Not like that. He must be really keen to get this bar. I've placed down a couple of dollars outside his house. A trail of them. There's one right there. And then there's another one here. And then there's oh, another one there. And then there's like another one here. There's a whole trail of these. And Trevor's gonna find these dollars and follow them all the way along this road. There's only about 15 bucks. But he's gonna be so focused on the road that eventually he'll realize oh, what's that, Trevor? There's a bunch of cash in this suspicious looking lorry. But it's from the post office. He'll go inside and then bam! I will lift up the back. He'll be trapped in here and you just wait to see what happens next. Let's see if he actually fools for this. Oh, a dollar. <laughs> Lovely. I like free money. Hang on just a second. There's another dollar. But this one's a five dollar bill. That's bigger than the last one. Another dollar? Whoa, hey, I'm beginning to like this. Looks like somebody dropped some dollars. Nice. Oh, amazing. I've made $30 so far. $40. Whoa, $60. These are big dollar bills. Little does he know, these dollars are actually fake. They don't even exist. You can't spend them. Whoa. Whoa, another one. A hundred bucks. Whoever dropped this must be a real idiot. How can you lose so much money? <laughs> Man, I really feel sorry for Trevor. He has no idea he's being trapped. Quick, Franklin, hide. He's right here. I better get inside the seat just in case. Whoa, what do I do? There's so much money in the back. I'm gonna go inside and make it quick. Oh, money, money, money. Oopsie, there we go. Trevor's trapped inside. <laughs> I'm on top of one of the highest mountains, and I'm gonna drive this straight off the top with Trevor inside. Don't worry, guys. He's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Oh, that's quite a steep drop. Hey, Trevor, do you have any last words? Get me out of this van. What is going on? Sorry, Trevor. You'll find out in a second, though. Now, which one is steeper? Do you reckon that one is? Or... No, this one's definitely looking steeper. Three, two, one. Bail, Franklin, go! <laughs> Sorry, Trevor. And that's the last we see of him. No! Ooh, ow! Ugh. Why would you do this? I'm gonna get you! Ow! Next, I'm gonna prank Chop. I know you guys love him, but he's gotta be pranked. He's so cheeky, and he gets away with so many things. He's gone. I think Chop knows I'm about to prank him. Fine, I'll come back again, Chop. Yeah, you just wait. He's always up to secret stuff. For all I know, he could be digging tunnels under this house. He has already done that. You should check out those videos. Anyway, whilst Chop is being suspicious of me, I'm gonna go and prank somebody else. We're almost there. This next person is not even gonna see it coming. You want to prank Nort? This is your only opportunity. Press like on the video on the count of three. We can pull off the biggest prank you'll ever see. Three, two, one. Smash that like button as hard as you can. So hard that we'll prank Nort. Lester Crest. Oh, I'm so looking forward to to this. Whoa, what, what's, what the? What's happening? Guys, something's happened to my... Oh, no, you didn't just... Oh, wow, that's impressive. You pranked me? How do I stop this? What do I do? Yes. Okay, it's worn off now. Wow, you guys are cheeky. Can't believe you managed to prank me. How did you do that? You gotta tell me in the comments. You see these beware of cameras? Yeah, there's only one camera, guys. And he doesn't even look at it half the time. He doesn't own a dog or anything. He just hates people and basically anything that moves. But one thing he hates the most is... No, actually, I'm not gonna tell you yet. Meet my clone. Well, aka hologram. You can see him, right? He basically looks like a ghost. This is my hologram, which I'm gonna put at Lester's door. We're gonna wait until nighttime, ring the doorbell, and he is gonna think there's a ghost outside. Okay, now's my chance. Hologram's ready, and three, two, one. Okay, doorbell rung. Right, let's go around the back and see what he says. One second, one out. Dog, oh, standing up's horrible. Ugh, ugh. Oh, I need to do my walking. Whoa, it's a hologram. I never seen this technology. Where are you, Franklin? Oh boy, he's coming to me. He's coming to me. He's coming to me. Quick, Franklin, run, 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 run. He can't see me. Go around the house, around the house, around the house. Oh my days, he can't afford to see us. Wow, that prank didn't work. I gotta think of something even sneakier. Sure. Hologram. <laughs> I gotta get that technology. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Eating pickles. Pickle number 42. Pickle number 43. How does this sound good? Eating 43 pickles in one night? His mouth must be blistered. He's a weird man, guys. Okay, don't worry. I've got another idea. I'm going to, um... Hmm, let's think about this. Cut off the power. That's a perfect idea. And it's a pretty dirty place. I've got a good idea, guys. Check this out. Franklin, put down some food. I have put down so many rats outside. And they're going into Lester's house. Once they go inside, he is going to be terrified. Let them go inside. I'm also going to cut off the power. Wow, this is definitely going to scare him. There we go. The power's been cut off. And now his lights have switched off. This is perfect. All right, Lester, what's going to happen now? Ah, there's rats in here. What? Oh, boy. They're nibbling at my toes. Oh, 
Oh, this is disgusting. Something tells me he's not too happy about those rats. <laughs> and he has to come outside to put the power on. I'm never leaving this house. I'm surrounded by them. I will live in the dark if I have to. Anyway, let's go and prank the next person. That's four people pranked. Five if you include myself. But let's not include myself, shall we? Let's go on to the next person. This is where Lamar lives. He lives with Denise. And let me just tell you one thing about Denise. She gets angry very quickly. And when she gets angry, oh, you don't want to be around Denise. She really makes it clear. Let me show you what I mean. If I walk up to this house, listen to what she says. She is not letting me inside. She screams at me and screams at me and screams at me. But Lamar is in there just watching Netflix. Just, you know, doing his thing. Since Denise is my auntie, she can never really hate me. But Lamar, yeah, she can hate him. I've hired a couple of friends off the streets. They look like me, they talk like me, and they act like me. They're all lookalikes. Now, we're gonna wait out here and really confuse Lamar. This is awesome. We just have so many clones of ourselves. Franklin, we did really good on this casting, buddy. I mean, look, look at these guys. They're basically identical. Wow, same color eyes, same hair trim. Oh, hold on. I think Lamar's coming. Yo, Denise, I'm going out, okay? I'll be back later. Oh, hey, Lamar. Bruh. Where do you get these guys? Lamar, I'm here. No, Lamar, I'm here. It's me. Definitely me. Bro, what are you doing? This is not funny. Oh, he's getting annoyed now, guys. He's getting really annoyed. Now I've got my clones on the street distracting him. I'm gonna sneak off and uh, just pretend I'm one of the actors. Yeah, okay. All right, he's taking it. He's, he's not doing anything. All right, we're definitely one of the actors. I'm going home, but little does he know. This is just a distraction. I'm gonna sneak around the back of Lamar and steal his phone. Trust me, there is a very good reason for this. So which one of you is the reason? Real Franklin, and which one of you is not? Mark, you're not gonna get any success with that, buddy. Now, three, two, one. Ooh, I got his phone. Check this out. Bear with me one second, guys. Bear with me. Just keep him distracted, okay? You smell. You stink out of the house, and I don't know why I live with you. Clean your mess up, Lamar. <laughs> send. That ought to do the trick. Lamar, what did you just send me? Oh, you wait until you come home, boy. You wait. Now they're walking away. Lamar must be so confused. But I want to see what happens when he goes inside the house again. I'm disappointed. You're not allowed here again, Lamar. But why? What did I do? What did I do? Why is my phone on the floor? Don't act all innocent. I know what you'd send to me. How dare you? Now go before I get my broomstick. I love how there's just a bunch of me walking around in the back. Hey, Denise! What's happening? Do you like my clones, by the way? Yeah, nothing suspicious happening here. This was great! Now Lamar can't stay at Denise's, and uh, yeah, I basically got one up on him, so screw you, Lamar! <laughs> Let's go and prank... I'm gonna try and prank Chop next. I gotta do it, guys. Chop is super easy to prank. I could think of a million things to do right now, but currently, I just wanna see what he does if I run away when he's playing fetch. What is he gonna do? All right, Chop, go. Go get the ball. Yes, that's perfect. Okay, now's my chance to hide. I'm gonna hide in this bush. I feel so bad right now, but I gotta do it, guys. We're gonna prank him. He has no idea where I am. Am I over there? No, I'm not over there, boy. I, am I over there? No, that's just a cliff. I can't be. Oh, maybe he's looking for that bush. No, nope, I'm not over there. <laughs> he has no Idea. Yeah, let's just go and reunite ourselves. Hey, Chop, it's me. What happened there, boy? Did you lose me? Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I promise I was still around. Did you get the ball? He didn't get the ball. Well, that's okay because my next prank. Oh, no, here's the ball. Well, my next prank is, um, oh, this one's a bit worse. I I'm just gonna throw this grenade. Chop will fetch anything, including grenades. Go on, boy. Even if that one explodes, you know, he realizes, oh, he's throwing grenades at me. He's still gonna get them. Okay, let's just throw another one there. Go on, boy, go fetch. <laughs> no! Oh, my days. Well, I've done two pranks on Chop. I'm gonna end it there. He's gonna respawn again. Let's Let's go and prank someone else. Sorry, boy. Whee! Whee! Hey, Tracy, come in the sea! Looks like Jimmy's having a great time. Bobbing around in the ocean just by himself, though. That's even better. Right, Franklin, here's the deal. I'm gonna pretend to be a shark, and we're gonna scare him. Okay, well, maybe I took this another level. I'm in a shark costume. I promise Franklin is inside this thing. If we eat someone, they don't actually get eaten. But Jimmy is still over there. I can see his legs. And I'm gonna make sure my fin is sticking out of the sea. What is he gonna do when I go near him? Oh, Jimmy, looks like you got a friend. This is a very realistic shark. If he doesn't think this is real, he is crazy. Is that... <gasps> That's a shark. Mom, there's a shark in the sea. Just punch the nose, Jimmy. Punch the nose. Oh, Jimmy, what are you gonna do? Please don't eat me, Mr. Shark. Please don't eat me. He must be so scared right now. And it's about to get even worse. Hey, Jimmy. Oh, no. No, please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. Please don't... Hang on a second. I can hear you. You're a person in a costume. I know you are. Uh-oh. Guys, I think my cover's been blown. He knows I'm someone in a costume. Oh, boy. Franklin, we better get out of here. Jimmy knows. How does he figure that out? I'm gonna get back to shore. 
Whoa, no, Franklin, there's some sharks, and they've seen me. Can you look at my radar? There's tons of them. Wait, let's just go underwater. Oh, my days, there's so many. Just a few more meters, Franklin, and we're there. A few more meters. Wait, one of the sharks went on land. That's crazy. Oh, my days, I just survived. I've arrived at Simeon's store, and we're not pranking Simeon again. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm pranking Sasha Yatarian. Every single time I come to the store, he's always got something to say about me. Why do you hang out with him? He's a loser. See what I mean? He just doesn't like me. And now he's working at Simeon's store, basically 24-7, always working on the cars. In fact, right now, I think he's working on one in the back. And oh, man, Sasha, what is that horrible music you're listening to? Ah, oh, jeez. He's got a terrible taste in music. Now, luckily, he has no idea I'm in the store. And Simeon has actually left. I saw him leave five minutes ago. So now's my chance to sneak around here and just do a couple of little pranks here and there, which Sasha has no idea I'm about to do. I'm going to cut the break lines on every single car. I know it's one of these wires. Ah, uh, yes. Right, let's do the same on the green one, the racing car, and the other two at the other side. The brake line has now been cut in every single car, which means whoever's driving this can't actually brake. Let me just give him a reason to drive one of these cars. What if I just leave one of the doors open? I mean, how can you resist a car like this? There we go. That should do the trick. Hey, Sasha, why is the door open? Well, what do you mean, boss? The door? Uh, it's okay. I'm just gonna get inside. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, ah! jeez, oh, what's happened to the brake lines? Ah, this is too fast, this car's too fast. Whoa! Sasha, what did you do? Sasha's gonna be in so much trouble when Simeon comes back. He crashed the car so many times. Oh, guys, I think something's happening down here. What's going on? Simeon's got a gun. No way! Boss, are you sure you're not bad at driving? What did you just say? You heard. Are you bad at driving? How dare you? Now, you guys think the prank's over, but it's not. I'm gonna do a couple of modifications to his car. Now he's distracted. Quick, Franklin, get to the car park and get his car. Simeon owns a beautiful red Lamborghini, and I'm gonna do something to this car, which... Ooh. <laughs> Let's just say Simeon is definitely gonna fire Sasha at the end of this. Oh, man, the moment Simeon sees this car, Sasha is gonna get so fired. Oh, no, guys, he's seen the car. <laughs> Sasha, get here now. I'm not done with you. <laughs> Oh, no, it's not looking good for him at all. If I was Sasha, I would run right now. I would get out of here. Fact, I'm still not done with the prank, guys. Just when you think it's over with, there is still another bit left. <laughs> Sasha's not getting off this easily. That's what you get for saying mean things about me every single day, Sasha. Now, little does he know is I've set up a trap, and he's walking straight into it. Oh, boy, just a few more steps, a few more steps, a few more steps, a few more steps, Sasha, a few more. He's going to fall down a drain right away. Over there. He's fallen straight down the drain, and no one knows. It's a loose drain, guys. If you stand on top of that, it sends you down into the sewers. What? Where am I? This is so strange. I was on the road a second ago. Oh, this smelly down here. That was gold, and the best thing about it is they don't even know who pranked them. They don't even think they were pranked. <laughs> but if you thought that prank was good, the next one is even better. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you want to prank not? Well, I'm going to tell you how we do that. Subscribe. As simple as that. Press the button, and if 5,000 of you do, I'm gonna do the biggest prank on Nort. Shh, but don't tell him. We're going to Michael's house, but this time, I'm not pranking Michael. I'm pranking somebody else. Not Jimmy, and not Amanda. I'm saving that one till later. <laughs> I'm pranking Tracy, because do you realize the amount of things Tracy tells me? She tells me some pretty nasty stuff, like this. Ew, yuck, out of my room. You smell like dog, Franklin. Where's her phone, Franklin? Where's her phone? Uh, there it is. I got it. Okay, grab the phone quickly. Perfect. I've got Tracy's phone. <laughs> uh oh, guys, Tracy's got a date tonight. I thought so. Michael was telling me about it all week. I'm just gonna send a message back, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. Okay, the message has been sent. I put the phone back. Now let's go back out of the room so Tracy has no idea I've even been in here. Um, I'm gonna take a shower. I got a, uh, plan tonight. Okay, honey, just don't use all the hot water. Yes, she's gone to take a shower. All I need to do is count down from like 10 seconds and the prank's gonna start kicking in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Oh, that was way earlier than I expected. Hide, 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 hide. <laughs> she's gonna be so annoyed. My hair, my hair. 
Where's my hair gone? Yes! Guys, it's actually worked! Look at the back of her head. This is terrible. No way! Oh, no. Guys, the door just went. I didn't tell you earlier, but I told the date to meet Tracy early at her house. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fantastic. She has no idea. Tracy, oh Tracy, your Romeo has arrived. Get out! Get out! Go! 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 Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. Let's go and prank the next person. Three years ago, Franklin was getting married. Only the bride ran away right in the middle of the ceremony. Heartbreaking, I know. Inside my car is the key thing for this prank. I'm gonna need to place down a sign on this junction. So when she comes past, it shouldn't be too long now, she's gonna think that she has to walk down here instead of up there to the actual end point. Man, how annoying. She's just completed 10 kilometers of hiking too. Perfect, that would do the trick. And I place down some trusty Kongs over here to stop her from going this way. And her car, by the way, is just around the corner. Right, Franklin. Let's go and hide and wait for her to come down here. And I think hiding just behind this hill ought to do the trick. Yes, here she comes. Guys, she's just about to come to the sign. This is perfect. Yeah. What's going on? I don't recognize this. Hmm. Okay, let's go down here. Yeah. Oh no, not another hill. This is what you get for running away from me in the middle of a ceremony. It was so embarrassing. I mean, ultimately, that was the worst prank. This one is just scratching the surface. She's almost there now. Take a few more steps on my days. There she is, guys. Oh, what's this? <laughs> oh no, it's Bigfoot. Run, run, run. Oh boy, okay, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go. He's chasing me. <laughs> What are you guys doing? There's more of them! Listen to me, Bigfoot! You don't scare me! Die! Get him! Yeah! Bigfoot down! Okay, I'm getting out of here, like, really, really fast. Um, maybe we don't prank her again, Franklin. She might be a hater, but... Oh, oh, oh. They were hired actors. They weren't even Bigfoots. Denise, one of my biggest haters. She won't even let me inside my old house. I grew up here, but this is all she says. This is a for the art now. Yeah, Denise isn't letting me in, guys. She just shouts at me, and we argue through the window. She hasn't seen my face in years! Despite many attempts to try and rekindle our friendship again, I am now taking it into my hands to prank her. And this time, it's gonna be a pretty funny one. Every evening, Denise goes on her afternoon jogs, and she's just about to start one. Now that she's gone, it's my chance to go inside the house and start the craziest prank ever. Come on, Franklin, quick, we haven't got much time. Now, I'm gonna do something to this house, which is gonna make her really mad. Like, really mad. You see this trash bag over here? Well, I'm gonna pick up the trash bag, and we're gonna take it inside our house. There we go, trash on the floor. Now let's go and get something else from outside. I'm just gonna trash the entire house, basically. This little bag of chips over here? Let's just throw this on the floor. Beautiful. That's on the ground as well. There's also tons of things in here, like this bin. What was once a lovely, beautiful, clean house is now a dump. Check it out, guys. I, I think we done pretty good. <laughs> There's rats in here. I have bought all of the litter from outside and thrown it inside the house. I've even covered my bedroom, even Denise's room. There's a rat on her bed. Oh no, she's gonna be so annoyed. And this is the living room. Oh my day, she is gonna freak out so much. Hang on, guys, I can hear her. She's coming through the door. In three, two. What's <gasps> happened to my house? She's reacted already. Perfect. This is amazing. But don't worry, guys. The prank isn't over yet. I've emptied her bins and thrown all of the trash inside her house, but there's still something left to do. I took it upon my Myself to spray paint her car in the time being <laughs> with loser. Oh my day, she is gonna be so annoyed when she sees this. Who? Who did this? Who? Who? Oh no, guys, she doesn't seem too happy. Well, in that case, my prank on Denise is done. And that's what you get for arguing with me every single time I try and come over to your house, Denise. Maybe next time you should try and invite me inside. This is Devin's house. He's the richest person in GTA 5. And right now, he's sunbathing in his back garden. He's usually doing this every single day. He's really easy to prank because around his house are a bunch of security guards. And today, I've hired every single one of them. So I'm in a helicopter and right next to me is a bucket of poop. I'm gonna drop it straight onto Devin's face and wait for his reaction. All right, let's just line this up. This is gonna be super tricky. But the amount of poop I'm throwing out of this helicopter, it's definitely gonna hit him. <laughs> oh, man, that's so much poop. Uh, 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 uh. 
where did that come from? Perfect. He didn't go in the swimming pool. He went inside his house to wash off the poop. Just wait for it, guys. Just wait for it. Which one of you did this? My face is blue. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dan on the radio. Check this out. Boss's face is blue. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. Looks like your guards double-crossed you. Whoa, that is a really, really blue face. What happened to you? Oh, my days. His face is completely blue. Hey, listen to me, Devin. I have food coloring removal stuff. And if you want me to remove it from you, then you're going to have to pay me $10 million. Really? $10 million? Oh, fine. Fine. Thanks, Devin. I just got $10 million from him. Now I'm a multi-millionaire. Okay, Devin, if you want the food coloring, I'm going to give it to you right now. But I'm not going to make it easy for you. You are an evil person after all. And, you know, I got to make this video entertaining. And it's somewhere down there. Good luck, Devin. All right, Franklin, let's get out of here before those guards change their mind. That was too much fun. He's got a blue head. This guy won't stop sending me mean texts, and some of them are horrible. So I sent him a text earlier today asking to meet up. Finally, once and for all, for the past year, he has been trying to get in touch, and he sent me the most horrible things. Whatever, man, I don't care. What do you mean you don't care? Sounds like you really do. I mean, I saw some of these texts. Look at this one. That looks like you care, buddy. Now tell me, mister, what is it you want to talk about? Because you only have one one chance to tell me before I begin to prank you. Fine, I admit it. I don't... I don't like you, okay? You're annoying. That's not enough of an excuse, man. You can't just say you don't like me. You gotta give me reasons. You gotta tell me why. I need to be able to fix the things you don't like. But since you're not telling me, I am going to have to prank you now. Guys, come here now. <laughs> it's time. Where are they? I know they're here. Oh, here we go. There's someone coming over. Nice. There's no idea what's happening, dude. People are just running over to me. How's it going, buddy? That's another guy over there. Nice. So I got a couple of paid actors around because we're about to embarrass this guy really badly. Wow, look at all of my friends. There's so many of them. Now, you haven't seen the best part, guys, because I have made a billboard for him. I present to you the billboard. <laughs> he has no idea I've done this, but it's amazing. What? Oh, what, is, what, what is this? You're pranking me. You're pranking me. Stop it. Stop it and go. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to go, buddy. Guys, have you seen the billboards? <laughs> yeah, I've seen the billboard. Pretty funny. Is this the guy? Whoa, these guys are proper savage. Now, that billboard's going to stay there for a while, so you might want to avoid this street unless you want to be laughed at. Anyway, now it's time to go on to the final prank, and you guys aren't ready for this. I don't think Michael is either. All right, I've arrived at Michael's house. Let's get out of the car. Oh, my day. She's still bold. She's still bold. <laughs> okay, we better get off the driveway just in case they do spot us, but Tracy's still bold and the boyfriend was running away still. Don't think it ended well for them, guys. Hang on, are they here? Alright, fantastic. I have got four lovely ladies to help me in with this prank. Yep, guys, I think you know where this is going. Oh boy, this is gonna get crazy. If this actually works, then Michael is going to kill us, literally. Okay, girls, here's the deal. Every 30 minutes, another one of you rings the doorbell and you stay there for as long as you can and pretend you know who Michael DeSanta is. Ah, uh, hello, I'm here for Michael DeSanta. He knows who I am. Michael who? What? You can leave. Go, go, go. Okay, now it's time for the second girl. Oh, my days, they're already speaking. They're already talking. I'm here for Michael D. Santa. He knows my name, but you can call me Penelope. Oh, excuse me. Michael D. Santa does not live here. Leave. Michael's going to be in so much trouble soon, guys. Why, hello there. My name is Jennifer. I'm here for your husband. Oh, who are these girls? Michael, get down. Do you know these girls? What are you talking about? Oh, don't you lie to me! I'm not lying, I promise! You're on a thin line, Michael! A thin line! I thought you loved me! Oh, yes, Franklin, this is perfect. This is perfect. If we send the last lady over, it is going to explode the house! Whoa, pretty nice place you got here. Get out! And take Michael with you! But, honey, I, I, don't, I don't know this woman. I don't know any of them, I promise. I don't now go! I don't want to go! Where am I going to go? Franklin's? He smells, remember, like a dog! I don't care! We're through! Guys, I think I've just basically ruined Michael's life. And it's about to get even better. And just spray something here and there and perfect! Pranked! <laughs> oh no, Michael's going to be so annoyed when he sees this! Huh? Pranked? Hey, Amanda, I've been pranked! Don't talk to me! B -b 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 I'll be pranked! I'll be pranked! I'm going to Franklin's. At least he won't judge me. I'm just not excited for the smell of dog. Ugh, I hate that smell. Talk about haters. Why does everyone hate me for smelling of dog? I love Chop. He's awesome. And... Hang on a second. What's happened to my car? What? How? Who? Uh... 
Who did this? Oh, guys, I think I've been pranked. I'm taking this car to the customs. I can't have kick me on the side. That's gonna destroy my car. I won't be able to park it anywhere. Oh, guys, I can't change this. This is so annoying. I love this car and I can't change the color. Wait, where did you guys come from? Hey, stop it. Oh boy, I can't even drive this car now because if I do, I'll run them over. I'm gonna have to go. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna have to lock this car in my garage until I can think of another solution. There's a police officer that bullies all of us. Everyone hates him and he's so angry. The movie sucks. The main character dies in the end. Oh. There we go. You happy? You're walking too fast. Slow down. I hate all of you. My goal today is to prank him until he explodes. <laughs> I have seven amazing pranks I'm gonna try. And each one is gonna get worse and worse and worse. Until eventually he explodes, loses his job, and hopefully leaves town. So, let's get started. So, first of all, I need to find out where he is. And luckily for us, the police always use the same radio. So, I'm just gonna stand next to this guy. Hey, man. And listen in to all of the calls. Suspect on the low south Los Santos. Any units available? Unit 29 available. On our way. Roger that. How about anyone else? We need multiple units on this. Ma'am, I got important business to do. I'm chasing a kid down. He snapped a pencil. That's him, guys. That's him. He's chasing a kid down for snapping a pencil. So seriously? Wow, this guy really needs some bigger problems in his life. Well, now he told me where he is, I have a feeling he's around the school area. Let's go there right now, and I'm not gonna go in a car. Oh, no, 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 no. I got something even better. I've got a cargo bob, and it's carrying the biggest magnet ever. <laughs> Once I find this police officer, he's going on the back of that magnet, and we're dropping him off somewhere fine. So there's the college down there, and we're looking for a police car. Hang on a sec, you guys. I think I found one already. No way! <laughs> there he is! Which means the kid must be nearby. I think that's the kid down there. I know you're out here, kids. Show yourself! Uh, oh, all I did was snap a pencil! What did I do? Wow, he really wants to arrest this kid. He's not giving up. Hey, don't worry, kid. I got this. This police officer is about to go down. The magnet's already getting ready, dude. Here we go! Get him! <laughs> Amazing! Hey, put me down! Put me down! Uh, no, buddy. I'm not gonna put you down, sir. You're stuck on the back of my magnet. Now, where do I put you? You're going on top of Mace Bank, and you're gonna have to find a way down from there. <laughs> Get me down from here now! And once I'm down, you're going to jail. Hmm. Let me think. No, I don't really like the idea of going to jail, man. You're on your own. <laughs> Well, that's the first prank done. Now let's do the second one. No way, he's back already. And what is he saying? Stupid helicopter pilot. Oh, you just wait. I'm gonna arrest you. Well, it would be good if he knew who I was. Oh, my days, does he know? Oh, no, I want my chocolate bar first. Hey, hey, who's got my chocolate bar? I need it now. Well, since he's gone in to get his chocolate bar, I think I might just sneak in the back of his trunk. <laughs> hey, what do you know? We actually fit. All right, quick, close the boot. I think he's coming. I got my chocolate. The bar. Okay, right, let's get in this and find this guy. Arr, no one messes with me. Nobody. Okay, let's take a look. There's gotta be something I can use in the trunk. Amazing. I found a radio. <laughs> Hang on, you reckon this works? This is an announcement. Everyone have a great day. Thanks, boss. Appreciate it. It works. I can communicate with the person in the car, which means I can give some pretty funny orders. All right, let me think. Let me think about this. Hang on a second, guys. I've got an idea. Sergeant Jones. Sergeant Jones. Jones, you're the only person I can count on. This is your superior. Pick me up flowers and return them to me immediately. Hey, uh, are you sure? I mean, that doesn't sound like police work. Are you telling me what's police work and what's not? No, no, of course. Uh, I'll be on that right away. Thanks, Sergeant Jones. I owe you one. Yes, that should work. So this guy's gonna pick up flowers, go back to his superior, and then give them the flowers. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be so awkward. Excuse me, who's selling flowers? I need flowers. Hey, yo, do you know where flowers are? Hey, get out the way. Oh my days, this guy's running people over like he doesn't even care? Come on, man. Wow, now I really want to prank him, but it looks like we're making him angrier and angrier. <laughs> and there weren't even flowers there. What a shame. Where do you even find flowers in this town? Like, I have no idea. Flowers, flowers, come get your flowers. Ah, perfect. Flowers. I have no idea which ones to get. Oh, oh my days, this is so horrible. Hey, which one are your cheapest? That would be the white roses, sir. Oh, they stink so much. Hey, ma'am, uh, you keep selling smelly flowers. Uh, I'm going to arrest you, okay? I'm not kidding. Oh, <laughs> you know what? Just go. Just go. I'm taking these flowers and I'm not paying. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, what was that? Guys, I think I ruined my cover. No, please don't look in the boot. Please don't look in the boot. I could have sworn I heard somebody laugh coming from my truck. Hello? Is anyone in there? You know what? It's been a confusing day. Let's take these flowers to my sergeant. <gasps> Oh, oh, I'm so glad he didn't notice me. That was so close. Can't wait to see what happens now. I told him to get flowers for his sergeant. They're going to be so confused. I got here in record time. Hey, Captain, I, I got your flowers. Uh, these are just from me, just like you ordered. Thank you, Officer Jones, but I didn't ask for any flowers. Um, this is kind of weird. Can you just leave? But you, you said you wanted flowers. I have important work to do now. Just go, okay? I'm not going to tell you again. Let's see what his reaction's like. <laughs> Is somebody playing tricks on me? This doesn't make sense. Yes, this is working, guys. I think I'm about to crack him. All right, let's get back in that trunk. I think he's a little bit confused now, and he might even think someone's pranking him, but it's not done yet. I still got the walkie-talkie. Officer Jones, I need you to call out a suspect. She's very dangerous. Of course. Uh, who do you want me to call out? Her name is Anna Sassin. You hear me? Anna Sassin. Uh, Anna Sassin? Okay, don't worry. I got that. Has he actually got it? Let's find out. <laughs> Attention, members of the public. I'm looking for an assassin. Has anyone seen her? She's very dangerous. Hey, why is everyone panicking? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's blown up cars. An assassin. Hello? Is anyone? Oh, wait. An assassin. <gasps> Listen to me, whoever's playing pranks on this radio, I'm gonna find you! What do you mean, boss? Uh, I was just looking for a suspect! I know you're playing pranks on me! No one messes with me! Oh yes, we got him so good, but he has no idea I'm in the trunk of his car! Literally no idea! I'm sure it's tight in this space, but uh, <laughs> I can't wait to give this last announcement! Alright, here we go. Sir, you're being fired! Pack up your things immediately! You've angered me, you've angered the public, and quite frankly, I don't think you're you're allowed to be on the force anymore. What do you mean? The force is my life. Are you playing pranks on me? How dare you think I would play a, <laughs> a prank on you? Uh, I'm not pranking you at all. Well, if you're really going to fire me, fine. I'm coming there now. Don't bother. Everyone at the station hates you. <laughs> <laughs> He's really driving fast now. They think they could just fire me? Okay, right. I'm their best police officer. I've made twice as many arrests as anyone else on the force. <laughs> Hey, Captain, how dare you think you can fire me? You are the worst person of all of them. The worst, Captain. You should be behind bars. Get out of here. What are you talking about? I didn't fire nobody. I thought we were friends. Me too. But then you fired me down the radio. Who even does that? Me? I didn't fire nobody. Don't lie to me. I'm telling the truth. Get out of the office now. <laughs> That's a really big argument, guys. I think I'm just gonna hide here now and wait for him to come out or be thrown out. That's it. Who's in the trunk of my car? I know someone's there. Guys, I'm so glad I'm not in the trunk of his car anymore because he's just opened it. Oh, my days. He's so annoyed. Who is doing this? How? This is so annoying. I was so close to being found out, but he still has no idea it's me. Franklin, we're the best prankster in town, but it's not done yet. He hasn't been fired. I don't think he has. And he's still a member of the police force. And he still hasn't lost his mind. So that's two pranks down. We can't go in the trunk of that car anymore. Let's go on to the third prank. Trevor has a police radio. I'm gonna use it to send some things down the scanner. Hey, Trevor, I need to send a message. Perfect. Here we go. All right, guys, are you ready for this? <laughs> he's gonna get the scare of his lifetime. Officer Jones, report immediately to the crime scene at the motel by yourself. Of course. I'll be there now. Can you prove it's you? What do you mean, officer? We've known each other for 10 years! Uh, what's my favorite food? Oh no, guys, I don't actually know what his favorite food is. I'm gonna call his bluff. Officer, there's a crime scene! We need you there, now! Are you going to fail your duty? No, no, of course! Don't worry, you can count on me! Oh! That did it, guys. That was so close. He always called me out. He's getting mighty suspicious, though. I better be careful and up my game. Right, let's go to the motel, and we're gonna meet him there. Although this time, it's not gonna be me. I hired a couple of people to help me with this prank. <laughs> let's go and do this. Yes, I've arrived at the motel before he has. Right, time to go upstairs and get dressed. Oh, thank you. You guys are here already. Well, uh, I'm gonna get changed, too. This is me. I'm now a clown. <laughs> we're gonna prank this guy so big. Speaking of which, I can hear Guys, he's pulling up into the car park now. Okay, guys, get ready. I need everyone to hide. There he is. He's down there. So, what have we got here? An 
Brandon Motel. All right, now it's our time to see if he's actually scared of clowns. I think he is. I mean, who isn't scared of clowns? These guys are terrifying. Okay, right. Well, let's just sneak around here. Oh, jeez, oh, I think he saw me. Hey, you! Come back here. Oh, no, no, no. He definitely saw me, guys. He's coming upstairs. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, boy. Run. Run, guys. Run for your life. He's gonna chase us. <laughs> well, let's hide behind here, and we're gonna prank him good. Oh, yeah. He's gonna get the surprise of his lifetime. Get ready for this, guys. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> what are you clowns doing around here? I don't even care if you're a clown. I'm not scared of them. Da! Come back here. Da! I hate clowns. I hate clowns. I hate clowns. Well, I got that job done. What was the job again? Oh, I don't know. Let's just go. That dealt with a lot of anger. I feel so much better now. Ow. Oh, man. Come on. I didn't think it was going to do that. Oh, that was a terrible idea. There's got to be something else I can do. Maybe we should up the ante a little bit. Let's do the fourth prank. Officer Jones, I need you to secure Michael DeSanta immediately. He's at his address, and I have word that he's highly dangerous. I'm on it. Don't worry. Perfect, guys. Officer Jones is on his way to to uh, take down Michael D. Sander. Meanwhile, he has no idea. What even is he doing? He's not in his garage. He's not sunbathing outside either. Oh, they're in the kitchen. Okay, kids, we're making apple crumble. First thing you need to do is get the apples and core them. And then slice them up and we're gonna make a crumble base. Oh, wow, they're making apple crumble. This is a proper family activity. <laughs> and Officer Jones is on his way. I can hear him Oh my days. I think he's just pulled up. I gotta watch this. This is gonna be insane and hilarious. Yes, I was Voice went on the scene. Oh, I'm gonna be a hero for doing this. All right, be careful, Officer Jones. Remember, you're the hero, all right? Uh, uh, hey, hey, Michael, Michael DeSanta, open up. Okay, careful now, careful. Boom. All right, let's go inside. Michael, I know you're here. Wow, that was pretty incredible. But what has he done? Can I see him? Oh, my days, guys. He's on the floor. <laughs> you're under arrest for a long time. Hey, but I didn't do nothing. I, I was just making crumble. Yeah, you tell that to the judge. No way. Right, now's my time to shine. Okie dokie. Let's just do one little cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days, the police are gonna love this! Officer Jones, what are you doing? I'm uh, arresting the suspects, uh, as I was ordered to. No, Officer Jones, this is not the suspects. We didn't tell you to do this. You're coming with us. But I was told to. Oh no. He's been arrested. No way. Why me? Why? I'm the best officer in this force. Hello? You're making a big mistake. The captain let him off on one final chance, which means if we catch him out one more time, then he is gonna lose his job, which means he's definitely gonna explode. <laughs> but don't worry, guys. I think I know just the plan, and this time it's gonna be complete self-sabotage. He's gonna quit himself because I'm taking his car, and we're gonna do some customizations. Since all the police are distracted with his paperwork, I think we got time to do this without anyone noticing. And this ought to do the trick. Oh, <laughs> All right! <laughs> Officer Jones is now riding around in a pink car. He's gonna be so angry when he sees this. So angry! Who did this? Is this some sort of prank? Hey, Jones! Nice car! <laughs> If I wasn't on my last chance, I would so get my revenge. Oh, man, this guy's really annoyed, but he can't do anything about it. And now he's got a pink car. He's going to have to use it for everything else he does, including prank number six. I took a look at the schedule, and apparently he's doing some sort of training course, which somehow he's still allowed to do. This is the training course, and in just a few moments, Officer Jones is going to tell some new police officers what it takes to become an officer. Okay, right, now's my chance. we got to make this thing extra slippery, Franklin. I don't exactly have slippery liquid, so I'm just gonna use gasoline. This ought to do the trick. By putting down some oil everywhere, this is gonna make him really slip over. And he is gonna fall straight on his head. And if he doesn't crack on this one, I've only got one more shot at pranking him. Because after that, I'll be out of pranks. Perfect. Right, don't walk on that, Franklin. It's really easy to slip over. Whoa! Oh, boy. All right, so now I've put down some gasoline. Let's do something else. I found a bunch of cats, and they're gonna stand at the end of this trail. If this guy slips over and lands in the cats, they're gonna be very angry at him. I know it. And now for the last thing. I'm gonna change the first gun on the wall. But which one would Officer Jones use? Hmm, I'm just gonna go over the top one. I have a feeling that's a classic. He's a classic kind of guy. And what I'm gonna do with this is take out bullets. So for the first three times, nothing's gonna come out. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be fun. All right, perfect. Let's wait for him to arrive. I think this is a pretty good hiding spot. <laughs> okay, who's ready to become a boss?
boss like me. Yes, he's arrived. He's arrived. I think I'll choose the first gun on the wall. That's a classic. Okay, guys, listen to me. Watch carefully. You're learning from the best of the best right now. <laughs> guys, I think it works. No way. <laughs> oh, my days. That doesn't sound good. I think he's found the cats. Hey, uh, Officer Jones, are you okay? I'm fine. Why won't this weapon work? That doesn't look fine to me. He's completely scratched up. And guys, it's not working for him. Well, he's fired at once, clearly. Something's wrong with this. I don't understand. Ah, ah, and there's ah. twice. <laughs> ah, who did this? Help me. I don't help. Dive, dive. Fire. Oh, don't worry, Officer Jones. We'll get some help. When I find out who did this, there. If only he knew. If only he knew. <laughs> oh, my days. That was amazing. He's got to be on the breaking point now. I mean, if I just show myself, he's going to really go crazy on me. I don't really think that's a good idea, Franklin. Let's do one more prank. He's inside the clothes store. He's really easy to recognize because he drives a pink car around now. <laughs> what is he even doing in there? Is he buying new clothes or something? Yeah, so uh, I was doing a training course the other day and it totally rocked. Uh, I got two new recruits. And now they're part of my team. Guys, he's trying to brag about that training course. Oh, yeah. Two weeks ago, that was. And believe me, it was insane. You should come along. I don't think I want to be a police officer. Why not? It's the best job in the world. You get to do me stuff and hang out with me. Oh, boy. He's really bad at chatting up women, guys. And he's trying to make this course sound like he actually did something. <laughs> he did nothing. But I'm gonna just mess with him one last time. Since he's in a clothing store. Maybe I can sneak his radio from his pocket, and then I can prank him again and again and again! Alright, let's wait for him to go in the changing rooms. Perfect. He's in the changing rooms. Alright, it's now or never, Franklin. Let's get his radio. Careful now. Careful. Careful. Got it! Nice! Now I got his radio, I can prank him so many times! <laughs> Uh-oh. I just held down the button. I was saying that through the radio. Do you think he heard that? He did! I'm coming to get you! Oh my days, guys. He's really angry! <laughs> Oh, jeez. Run, Franklin. Run, run, run. I should have known. I should have known. It was you all along. You're so dead. <laughs> okay, I think we better just take this round somewhere else, guys. <laughs> Let's go to the police station. I don't even want the radio. Throw it away, Franklin. Okay, quick, get in the station. Get in the station. Come back here. Quick, Franklin. Run, run, run. Ah, oh, boy, you hit me. No, no, this is insane. Oh, oh no, he's got a minigun. I'm going to deal with you. Hey, I would uh, look around you, buddy. It doesn't look like the police are enjoying this. Officer Jones, what are you doing? Put it down. This is just innocent civilian. He's not. This man has been pranking me. Hey, mister, I, I don't know your name. I have no idea who you are. Officer Jones, I want to ask again. Drop your weapon. Ugh, you're making a mistake. Officer Jones, give me your license. You're no longer a police officer. Oh, guys, I just kicked him out of the police. Force. Well, my job here is done. I'll leave you guys to decide what to do with him. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I'm not pressing charges. As long as he loses his job. Oh, you think you're funny? You think you're funny? Well, I'm gonna find you! Oh my days. Okay, we better go. We better go. <laughs> He really has exploded. No! There's a billionaire living in Los Santos, and he's really annoying. Everybody hates him, and he drives around in his super fast cars, crashes into people, and blames them. Get out the way! This is your fault! Get off the road, peasants! Every summer, he moves to Los Santos, and once a year, he throws the biggest and the wildest party ever. Celebrities, businessmen, and even presidents show up. But my goal is to totally embarrass him in front of everyone at the party. <laughs> I have the best prank ever. And you might be wondering, why are we wearing a red janitor costume? Well, <laughs> we have signed up to do some work at his house just before the party. You know, oh my days, dude, these cars are so annoying. Hey, off the cars. Oh, geez, seriously, man, how am I supposed to get to you when your cars are in the way? You have too many of them. See what I mean? He's really annoying. Hey, watch out. You're scratching my cars. Listen, man, there was no other way to you. Anyway, I'm here to clean your house. <laughs> I know you got a big party tonight. And I am gonna help you set that up. Wink, this is a secret between me and you. Oh, you smell. Well, 
Come on in, but don't stay too long. Thanks. You're the best. I really don't like this guy. Don't worry, Franklin. You don't smell at all. The only thing you smell of is genuine personality. <laughs> I'm supposed to be cleaning his house. Let's uh, actually look like we're doing some work. Gotta get this window good. Okay, what have we got here? A spotless balcony. See, man, look, I I'm cleaning it. <laughs> okay, this is so boring. I really want him to go away so I can finally do the prank. Oh, this is so boring. I'm going to watch Netflix. Yes, he's gone. That means I can finally prank him. So, I have a trick up my sleeve. <laughs> this is gonna be the best prank ever. And when this party happens, oh, everyone's gonna laugh at him. Trust me. <laughs> so, I need to find his speaker system. Speaker system. No, this is the bathroom. Whoa. I mean, this is a billionaire bathroom, guys. Look at this place. Wow. I can't believe he actually owns this. How can someone this rude own a place like this? Maybe it's upstairs. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, Franklin. Get moving. We haven't got long. <laughs> He's in the movie theater right now, and I can't step foot in there. He thinks I'm cleaning the house. But hold on a second, guys. I found the speaker system. <laughs> right. Watch and learn. I've just got to replace the disc in this, too. <laughs> Pingu's latest hits. Oh, this has got to be fun. When he plays that CD, oh my days, everyone's gonna laugh at him. I mean, who plays Pingu? <laughs> wow, this is gonna be hilarious. All right, so let's just get out of this house and uh, wait for this party, which is only in a few hours. <laughs> wait a second. Why is it playing now? Oh no. Who changed the CD? It doesn't make sense. Oh, he must have wanted to listen to music and he found my CD already. Well, that prank didn't quite work, but we still got him. <laughs> he must be really confused. What are we gonna do now, Franklin? We're back to square one and the party starts in just a few hours. I need to find a way to embarrass him. Right now, he's sunbathing outside, probably taking a little break before the crazy party begins. Can someone get me some grapes? I'm really hungry. Dan, he's still kind of annoying. He's just treating everyone like rubbish. But I found a way to sneak up onto his roof, and I'm gonna prank him good this time. <laughs> when I was inside, I found his phone number, and I'm gonna phone that number now <laughs> and prank him real good. Hello! I wonder if this will actually work. He's got so many guests arriving tonight, I might just be able to pretend to be one. <laughs> yeah. Hello, it's me. Dwayne Johnson? No way. Oh, what? Yeah, that's me. Hey, can we meet somewhere private? Yeah, you're Dwayne Johnson. Of course. Thanks. See you there. No way. I can't believe we got that working. All right, I'm going to meet him in the location now, and we're going to prank him so good. Since I'm on the rooftop, I can actually spy on him. Do you reckon he's getting ready? <laughs> Whoa, he's, he's already flexing. No way. Ugh, I'm meeting the rock. I gotta show him how buff I am. <laughs> oh boy, watch out, Franklin. He literally looked right up at us. But I don't think he saw us. Hey, was someone there? I thought I saw. It doesn't matter. Let's go and meet the rock. Okay, now we're gonna run really quickly. And I don't think he'll notice one of these cars disappearing. <laughs> Let's take this one and meet him there now. If I hide the car here, he shouldn't see it. Now get on this rooftop, Franklin. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We haven't got long. Is this really? where Dwayne the Rock Johnson wanted to meet. It's not exactly extravagant. I mean, do I need to say much more? This is just a warehouse. Hmm, maybe he's filming a movie here. Maybe I'll be a movie star. Oh, yes, that's what he's doing. Uh, let's go over to the location. The exact place he said to meet. He told me to stand exactly in front of this white garage door. Dwayne? Hello? Hello? Yes, he's actually arrived, and he's right down there. <laughs> Now's my chance to really prank him good. I have a bucket of oil, and when this lands on him, oh boy, he's gonna get the surprise of his life. He's gonna be sticky. Whoa, oh, 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 oh boy. Okay, okay. All right, Franklin, this is prank number two. <laughs> we don't want to die on this one, buddy. That would be terrible. Let's knock this thing off. Oh, there it goes. Yes. The oil spilled, and now he's slipping over. Uh, 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 what? Who did this? Who did this? Oh no. Now the oil's setting fire. No. <laughs> oh, boy. This isn't exactly how I planned it to go. I, I'm really sorry about that, mister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I just wanted to prank him. Well, I think we pranked him a bit too much there. But at least the party won't go ahead. <laughs> oh, no. He's back at the house and he's chilling in the swimming pool. I thought we had him good and he would be injured for a long time. But he's back in the pool and the party's going ahead. So I've made a few adjustments to Franklin and I got a police uniform. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to arrest him. This is going to be the best prank ever. <laughs> he can't argue with me. I'm a police officer. So now, oh no, there's so many cars in the driveway. Do you reckon I can just squeeze past? Oh, perfect. It's like you wanted me to do this. <laughs> Excuse me. I know you're in there. You're under arrest. Arrest? For what exactly? Um, 
you know, just for being annoying to everyone. Listen, buddy, I'm not going to explain anymore. Get in the car or else you're going downtown. I'll get the sheriff out here. <laughs> Thank you. Now, you better spend time reflecting on what you've done and why you covered in dirt and mud. Somebody set me on fire. You should be going after them. Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I think we're actually getting on his nerves now. And he has no idea it's me. Uh, can you be careful? These are my cars and my house. Oh, yeah, of course. Sorry, man. <laughs> Oh, guys, you're gonna love this next bit of the prank. What's the best way to cancel a party? Well, in my books, it's to make sure the host can't even host it. <laughs> I am gonna take him somewhere where he will never get out of. <laughs> Isn't the police station the other way? Yeah, there, there is a police station the other way, but we're going somewhere else. To, to another police station. Okay, but you're driving really fast. Can you slow down? You're scaring me. Hey, listen, buddy. I know you drive crazy too, so you're not pulling that one on me. <laughs> yeah. Let me just do a call to everyone. Hey, guys, can everyone move out the way, please? I'm a police officer. Since I'm playing as a police officer, I can send him to prison. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, I got an inmate for you. Needs to be processed. Yes, they let me in. And once I'm through here, there is no way he's getting out. Hey, uh, this is the prison. I haven't done anything. Yeah, you tell that to the judge. Actually, no, save it, because the judge ain't gonna see you. <laughs> You're joining new inmates G3. Good luck. And don't expect to be out anytime soon. What are you doing? You can't do this! Don't leave me here! Sorry, man. I just did. Thanks, officers. He's done a lot of bad things. Make sure he goes to the dirtier cell. <laughs> right, I think I'll just get out of here since I'm not actually a, a police officer. I wouldn't want to get stuck in here myself. Uh, I'm innocent! Uh, what are you doing? Join the crew. Every prisoner says they're innocent. Maybe they are. That's not our job. All right, let's get out of here quickly. Thank you, thank you, thanks, officers. I can't believe I actually managed to take him to prison. That was the best prank ever. Now this party really can't go ahead. And when people find out why, <laughs> he's gonna be so embarrassed. And by the time he's out of there, it's gonna be too late. He'll be leaving Los Santos. <laughs> and hopefully, he'll never come back. Wait a second. I'm getting a phone call from the prison. Do you reckon that's him? How does he have my number? Listen to me, prankster. Dwayne Johnson, whoever you are, I will not let you get away with this. I'm leaving the prison now. They've let me go, and I'm coming for you. Oh, no. Guys, they let him out of the prison already? What? And he's got my number. Oh, that makes sense. I did phone him pretending to be Dwayne Johnson. And he's catching on that I'm beginning to prank him. Okay, whatever prank we do next, Franklin, can't afford to fail. How is he already back at the house? Listen to me, you two idiots. This needs to be the biggest firework display anyone's ever seen. Nah, don't worry. This is gonna be big, I promise. You better not be pranking me. They're doing a firework display. This is perfect. If I want to prank him good, <laughs> we gotta do something with the fireworks. <laughs> oh, get this, guys. I'm gonna replace every single firework for a sticky. No way, this is gonna be a great idea. Let's replace every single one of them. But whatever you do, Franklin, don't get caught. There's so many more of them. Are right, another one there? <laughs> <laughs> when this is set off, every single guest is gonna be completely surprised. <laughs> And the house might actually fall down. Better hide in this bush. Make sure he can't see us do this, of course. <laughs> okay, another one down there. Perfect. Let's keep moving, Franklin. Stay in the bush. Stay in the bush, buddy. Stay in the bush. Okay, I think we're well hidden around the side. There we go. There's a bunch of stickies down, but th they keep going on. No way. He's got fireworks all the way in his driveway, too. Well, I suppose we may as well leave a trail of these stickies. <laughs> this is gonna really annoy him. He's gonna be so angry when this happens, guys. Let's just mix this up a bit, actually. He does have too many cars, doesn't he? I think he would agree. What if we explode every single one of them? Amazing, right, Franklin? I think that's good enough. <laughs> now it's time to wait for the firework display, which should happen in just a few hours. I want to test the fireworks. Make sure I'm not being pranked. You want to test them? How rich are you? Oh, you just spent a million dollars on these. Money isn't my problem. Being pranked is. Wait a minute, guys. He wants to set off the fireworks now? Is that safe with us around? Oh dear Franklin, this house could literally be destroyed. Oh my days, he's done it. He's done it. He's done it. <laughs> oh my goodness. No way, dude. He just set off all of the fireworks. And now look at those cars. <laughs> what? You're fired. Oh, oh, guys, guys, I think he's angry now. Yeah, I would be angry too. <laughs> What's going on down there? Oh my days, guys, he's shooting. <gasps> 
He just took them out. No way. I won't be pranked. Serves you right for pranking me. Guys, I ruined him. Oh, no. No, no don't, don't fall down, Franklin. Please don't fall down. I don't want to die. He's really angry now. He thought it was them. Poor guys. Uh, I think we're just going to run now. <laughs> Let's get out of here, dude. I blew up every single one of his cars, and I don't think he was too happy about that. But at least the party can't go ahead. With this much mess, there's no way he'll throw a party now. <laughs> no way. He moved house. I didn't realize he had another place. Listen to me, you two. No fireworks. No Dwayne Johnson. And no pranksters. Do I make myself clear? You got it, boss. Good. <gasps> Guys, he's meeting with some security guards. The party's gonna happen literally in just an hour. What are we gonna do next, Franklin? Think, think, there's gotta be something we can do. The girl of my dreams is coming tonight. And I'm gonna impress her with a really, really nice car. The car's in my garage. I need to make sure it's safe. And when she sees this, she's going to fall in love with me. I'm gonna buy my angel's dreams. That's how you do it, right? Okay, I need to lie down. There's a car in the garage, huh? <laughs> and he seems to really care about this girl. Well, since there's two security guards at the front door, I can't exactly sneak into the garage that way. I gotta find another way in. And to do this, we're gonna go through the house for one second. I can see him, dude. He's literally standing right there. Nobody can prank me in bed. Ugh. Yes, he's gone upstairs, guys. Now the coast is clear. I don't see anyone else in that house, so let's go and switch that car. <laughs> Before he comes down. Oh, this is a serious nice place. Look at that photo. Okay, right, let's get moving. We'll just go through the door. Nice, there's the ride. <laughs> now I gotta find a way to make this magically disappear. Got an idea, guys. If I leave the garage with the car, the guards are gonna see me. So I am gonna have to put them to sleep. Sorry, guys. Bah! And the other one, quickly. And da! Nice. Nice. They should be asleep now. <laughs> that gives me just about an hour to switch the car. And when she's surprised with this ride, oh my day, she's gonna get the surprise of her life. <laughs> Are you ready for this? He definitely won't be expecting this prank. I mean, this one's so close to his heart. And when I do this, it's gonna really ruin him. I know it is. Right, this car, I don't really need this car. It can go over here. <laughs> Bye. Oh, my days, that was a bad idea. Ow, 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 my neck. Why do we do that, Franklin? The car came out better than us. Oh, that was a terrible idea. But at least the car's, you know, gone. <laughs> now let's replace it with something better. She's gonna be so annoyed when she sees this. <laughs> Hey, do you want to make a guess on what's inside the garage? Go on, make a guess. It can literally be anything. <laughs> Wait a second. The guards are coming around. Do you reckon they'll check the garage? Let's not tell boss about this. Good idea. Nothing to see here. Just two very strong and mean guards. Hello, is my boyfriend in? Yes, ma'am. He'll be out in a second. Oh, hello, my angel. I have a surprise for you. I specifically invited you just before everyone else arrives. Speaking of which, uh, there's two guests now. Hey, guys, I'll be with you in a second. Hey, hey, check out this gift I got for my girlfriend. Oh, she's gonna love this. I can't wait. This is gonna be the best surprise of your life. Trust me, I put lots of planning into this. I know exactly what you like. I have got you. A lovely, amazing... Oh, 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 what's that? What? This is the worst gift ever! This wasn't me! Who did this? Close the door! I'm leaving you! I'm never coming back here again! You're terrible! N no, this wasn't me! Uh, this was someone else! This was the prankster! Did you notice anything happen recently? In the past hour? You guys are on guard! What happened? Nothing, boss. Nothing. You know what? You better be on your best behavior tonight. I need you both to make sure Dwayne the Johnson, the Rock, whatever the guy is, does not come in, okay? Okay, boss. Okay. That was gold. I put so much poo inside that garage. <laughs> it stinks so much, I can smell it from here. Oh. <laughs> well, he's not going to get the girl of his dreams anymore. And does he really think Dwayne the Rock Johnson is the guy who's pranking him? That's quite a twist. <laughs> <laughs> it's not over yet, guys, because I am going to do the ultimate prank next. <laughs> this one is going to totally ruin him. I've lost his girlfriend. I've blown up his first house, and it's not over yet. <laughs> the party has already begun, and people are arriving. There's people dancing outside. Wow, this is quite the event. And others queuing to get in. Wait a second. Is that The Rock? I'm his best friend. What do you mean I can't come in? I'm his best friend. You ask him. Sorry. I'm a big fan, but we can't make exceptions. What do you mean? I'm The Rock! Wow, 
Wow, he's getting really annoyed about this. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose it's time for the next prank. I would love to find a bucket of oil, loads of paint, maybe an embarrassing CD track. Who knows? <laughs> I just gotta find something to embarrass him in front of all of his special guests. And some of these might even be presidents. That's what I heard. I know a lot of them are celebrities, so he's gonna get really embarrassed if he messes up this one. <laughs> gotta find something to embarrass him with. Let's see. Fruit? Nope, can't embarrass him with that. I'm sure there's something upstairs. And snooker table. Okay, what's through these double doors? Da -da -da. Walk in a wardrobe, no way. Anything embarrassing in here? Gotta find something embarrassing, remember, Franklin? It's gotta be embarrassing. Let's think, there's gotta be something around here we can use. What's through this door? Hang on a second, is there something on the desk? What's this? Vault password? Wait a second, I think he's got a vault in this house, which has to be full of cash. <laughs> Franklin, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Let's go and find that vault. I have no idea where that could be. I haven't seen anything that resembles a vault around here. Is there, like, something I'm missing about this place? Wait a second. Second. Guys, I found an underground basement. I had no idea this existed. Oh, wow. There's loads of wine. There's a TV. <gasps> and there's the vault. Amazing. <laughs> now, let's use the password on this. Give it an open. And bam. I've made it inside. And there's so much money in here. <laughs> wow. There's got to be at least a billion dollars on the floor. Well, Franklin, gather up all this cash. And let's make an announcement. Excuse me, everyone. It's raining cash. <laughs> the host of this party has decided to give money to everyone here. It's downstairs. The vault's open. It's all yours. Well, that got them moving. Everyone's gone. You won't get away with this. Oh, but I just did. You might want to check up on those guests down there. Wait. Uh, you're right. Hey, hey, hey. No one take my money. Uh, my money is mine. Uh, 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 you didn't actually. <gasps> you opened the vault. No way. Hey, guys. This money's mine. It's not yours. Get out of the way. What? It's all gone? That was my money. That was all of it. Everybody, listen very carefully. Give me my money now. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you leave with my money? Come back here now! Oh, seriously? You gonna run up a cliff now? Oh, that's really annoying. What am I going to do now? Hey! You think you're funny? Oh, you come down here and let's see how funny you really are. No, I think I'm gonna stay up here, mister. I'm quite good up here now. <laughs> hey, how'd it go with the money? I'll be okay. I always am. But you are dead. Yeah, well, you're gonna have to come up on the roof first because uh, last time I checked, you can't even climb a cliff. <laughs> I think I'll be safe up here for now. But I haven't broken him yet, guys. I have one more prank up my sleeve. The seventh prank, the ultimate one. Are you ready for this? There's still a couple of guests at the party and every single one of them has at least a billion dollars. If I can prank them, they're gonna be so angry at him. <laughs> to the point where he's going to have to break. Hey, Dwayne Johnson, trust me, you don't wanna be involved in this party, man. <laughs> You're gonna wanna go home. Why? I love this guy. Well, I'm gonna do a really big prank. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yeah? Well, let's just see you say something about that. Did I even make so oh, sorry, Dwayne? <laughs> sorry, guys. I did tell you to go home. Sorry, Dwayne. Really didn't mean to do that. By the way, I'm trying to overtake him in subscribers. Subscribe to the channel now. Help us overtake him. <laughs> okay, let's do the prank. Or should I say, let's do the plank. <laughs> I am barricading them in their house and then unleashing a ton of rats inside. Good luck, guys. Have fun. <laughs> Just better close that door so they don't leave. Oh, watch out. There's a rat under the door. There's a rat. Oh, boy. I think he's okay. <laughs> now on to the second phase of the prank. I bet you're thinking, what am I doing with a cargo bomb? Well, <laughs> these are the guest's cars. And that one right next to the gate is the most expensive at a million dollars. But let's just play a lucky dip, shall we? Whoopsie. I got the most expensive. <laughs> now I am going to fly this over the guests. Hey, guests. I'm taking your cars. <laughs> one by one. And I'm dropping them off this cliff. Oh, they're going to be so annoyed. They're going to be really annoyed. Now they're really beginning to panic. They have no idea where to go. <laughs> oh, dear. I would hate to be you guys. Well, I'm just going to keep picking up these cars then. Wow, this is a really nice one. This is my favorite one in the collection. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> this guy's going to be so embarrassed. Someone is just destroying all of his guest cars. Wait a second, guys. I think that was the president's car. You see this? It's super long. And they decided to bypass the party. Oh, no. How embarrassing. Don't worry, buddy. I got a plan for you. I'm gonna make sure this guy gets what's coming to him. <laughs> and get ready, get ready, get ready. Get him, get him, get him. Oh. <laughs> 
This is awesome, dude. All right, get it, get it. Okay, now I've got the president's car. It's a super long car. I'm gonna drop it in the garden of the house. You know, make sure they can say hello. <laughs> I would be so embarrassed if I was the host of this party. He's gonna be broken. Seriously. This is the best prank ever. In fact, I'm glad the party went ahead because now no one is gonna go to the next one. Ah, problem solved. Here's the president trying to ditch your party. <laughs> well, I don't think I need the cargo bob anymore. Everyone's already running away. Look at them. <laughs> Come back here. I don't think I'm gonna show myself. I'll leave this to the police. Hey, officers, this guy's gone rogue. You better go and sort him out. Sir, you have three seconds before we fire. One, two, three. And finally, I've broken him. Yes. Well, I'm glad he gave himself in. What a wild party that was. Hey, man, do you reckon you'll do one next year? <laughs> Whatever. I'm not talking to you. Hey, this person's been really mean to everyone all day. You know, you should have seen some of the things he's done. I think you should lock him away for a long, long time. What? I've done nothing! You tell that to the judge. You're going in. What? Somebody get me out of here! Well, my job here is done. He's in jail, I pranked him real good, and I've basically broken him. And since he's not coming out anytime soon, <laughs> I am gonna move in to his brand new house. Wow, this is a lovely place. This is the school bully. Everyone hates him, including the teachers. Earlier today, he bumped into my friends. Move out the way, losers! And last week, he burnt my homework for fun. And there's nothing I can do about it, because his dad is the head teacher. Nobody touches my son except me. Oh, no, it looks like he burned someone else's homework this morning. That's so not cool. But don't worry, I got just the plan. If this prank doesn't expel him, it doesn't really matter because he's never coming back after this. I just need to find a quiet corner of the school. I think this is pretty good. There's no one around here. And now, let's start digging up the ground. And once he falls in, I'm not gonna help him one bit. He's gonna have to get out himself. If he can, come on, let's dig up this hole. We'll be done in no time. Time. Now, whatever you do, buddy, don't fall into that. You don't want to know what's down there, guys. I actually hit the sewers. So if he falls into there, which he will, he's gonna smell so bad. Right, there's only one thing left to do, and that's find the ultimate disguise. He'll never suspect a thing. I put a little bit of fake grass on top, and the moment someone steps on that, they're going down a massive hole. <laughs> right, now it's time to get the bully's attention. This should be pretty easy to do. Hey, bully, you smell. What did you say to me? Right, that's it. You're dead. This is gonna be gold. It's gonna be gold. Hey, over here. Oh, oh work my days. Don't go down the hole. <laughs> hey, buddy. Right over here. Come on. He's so close. Wait, what are you doing? No. No, kids. Uh, how'd I get down here? What is this? I have no idea. I've never seen this before. <laughs> Uh oh, guys, the teacher fell down that. I was not expecting that to happen. So clearly the first prank didn't quite work, but that's okay. We can go on to prank number two. I'm sure we can think of something better. I just gotta find a way to really break this kid. That would have definitely done it. The bully is always on his phone and nobody dares to take it away from him. But that's given me a really good idea because this is the headmaster's office and he's currently not in, but his phone is on the table. <laughs> if I can just get that phone, we can try and pretend to be his dad and make him do some crazy things. Right, all I gotta do is sneak into the headmaster's office, which is gonna be a little bit tricky because there's a receptionist at the desk. What if I ask a friend to distract her? Hey, guys, do you want to do a prank? Hey, ma'am, I think the toilets are flooded and I don't know where the janitor is. I need someone looking at it. Can, can, you, can you go and take a look? Why is it always me? Yes, thank you so much. You're amazing. I owe you one. That's okay. Just make sure you're pranking good. I agree. I agree. Anyway, let's go and take this phone. I'm in there Maz's office. I can't believe I'm actually in here. This is crazy. There's the phone. We'll just grab the phone and give him a phone call. All right. Nice. This is perfect. I've got the headmaster's phone. <laughs> Where is my receptionist? I want it up against by lunchtime. What are you looking at, idiot? Go back to school. I'm already in school. Oh, yeah? Well, you're fired. I mean, <clears throat> expelled. What? You can't do that. Oh, I'm in such a bad mood. I hope no one annoys me again. Oh, no. I better find somewhere to hide. Quickly, get in here. This guy's worse than the bully. He just expelled my friend for doing nothing. I can't work when I'm hungry. Ugh, I'll have to get food myself. I did leave an emergency snack in one of these cupboards. No, guys, I really hope he doesn't open this. If he does, I might die. I'm not kidding. This guy's really mean. Please don't open this. Please don't open this. Oh, 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 guys, he's opening drawers on this cupboard. Uh, this one. Ah, here we go. Oh, 
Phew! He's not opening my drawer. That was so close! Okay, I think we can come outside again. He's low, oh, jeez. He's looked back at the office. Okay, he's left the office. He's going to the canteen and he found his snacks. I got his phone! Hey, thank you so much for taking one for the team. I promise I will get you back in school. That's okay. I don't like this place anyway. Yeah, I don't blame you. I really don't, but I'm gonna prank him good, okay? I'm gonna get the best revenge ever! Ooh, I know just the place. I'm gonna hide in the toilets. Perfect. They'll never find me in here. Now let's call the school bully. Hello, this is your father. I'm not giving you any more pocket money unless you clean the toilets. What do you mean? I need that pocket money. Then make the toilets clean. Do you reckon he's actually gonna buy that? Let's see. I'm in the toilets right now. Is he actually gonna clean this place? I mean, they're not exactly the cleanest things. There's so many of them. Oh, he's actually showed up. Why have you got a broomstick? None of your business. He actually thinks I'm his dad. Ooh. I could do so many more things with this. Hey, guys, do you have any idea what I could do? Hey, guys, you enjoying your lunch? I definitely am. Hey, did you want to see something funny? Check this out. I have the bully's phone number. Let's phone him up again. <laughs> I think he's just about cleaning the toilets. Never again. Oh, no. No, no, no. What does my dad want now? Billy, this is your dad. Uh, of course you know this, because I'm calling you on, on my phone. I'm looking for a student. Her name is Anita Bass. Can you search for the student? Isn't this your responsibility? Don't even think about responding back to me. Find this person now. How scared of his dad is the bully? Let's find out. Hello? I'm looking for Anita Bass. Anita Bass. Anita Bass now. Come here. <laughs> Awesome. He's literally shouting it across the whole school. Anita Bass, that's it now. Have you seen Anita Bass? Anita Bass, now. Stay away, you smell. Wait a second, he's calling me. I got an incoming call. Yes, son. I can't find her. She's not here. Have you checked everywhere? Yes. You better get good grades today. What? I helped you, though. This is too good. This is too good. Listen to me. If you lay a finger on anyone today, you're getting crushed. This is perfect. Guys, I set the scene. Now the bully can't bully us, which means we can do anything we want to him. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I'm getting out of here before I do something I regret. <sighs> I don't like these kids. Fire never lets me down. It rages as much as me. Whoa, this bully's really got some problems. Well, let's see how far we can take it. Whoopsie. <laughs> Sorry, man. Didn't quite see you there. This is great. I can prank him so much. Hey, do you mind? Some of us are trying to think here. If my dad wasn't being so mean, you would be dead. It feels like I've really got him around my finger. We could do some other crazy things. Oh, maybe we should prank him real good next time. Uh-oh, the bell goes. Looks like we can't be late for class. Welcome to class, kids. Today, we're going to do mathematics. Who's good at math? Sorry to have to break up the class, but someone has stolen my phone. Which one of you kids did it? Oh, no. No, 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 guys. He's just admitted in front of everyone that he's lost his phone. And the boy is right in front of me. This is as bad as it can get. I'm going to use my friends to phone my phone. And whoever's got it, it's going to ring in your pocket. And you're dead. Oh, my days. Guys, I don't have long. I don't have long. Quick. Uh, uh, drop the phone. Yeah. Oh, 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 yes. I'm so glad I threw the phone. And no one seemed to see that. Looks like you dropped your phone in the classroom, sir. I don't think anyone took it. Hmm, this doesn't make sense. I haven't been in this room today. Maybe it was that girl I expelled earlier. Yep, yeah, maybe it was. Maybe it was. Well, I'm so glad you did not catch me. That was so close. When did you lose your phone? A few hours ago. Why? No reason. After class, all of you are dead. Now, now, son, calm down. We can't be saying stuff like that around class. Shut up. Now, in front of you is a school test. Don't overthink this. It doesn't matter too much. It just controls the future of your life, okay? Wait a second, guys. I've got an idea. If I can somehow do really bad on this paper, switch the names into his name, then we could really have some fun. We've all got our assignments, and let's hand them in. Okay, uh, here's mine. I'm just gonna get to the back of the queue quickly, and in fact, I think I might just hide, uh, under this desk and wait for everyone to leave. Ugh, so many assignments. I need some coffee for this. <laughs> Well done, kids. I'm really proud of all of you. He's gone. Now's my chance. I haven't got long. Let's just put my name on his paper and we'll be good to go. <laughs> right, let's get out of here. Oh, oh, hey, guys, you saw nothing. This is going to be hilarious. He's going to get the worst grade in the entire school. I failed him so bad. How are we doing? Any plans tonight? Look over your 
shoulder because tonight you're all dead. Okay, well, I don't think I'm gonna hang out with that guy tonight. Something tells me your dad's got other plans for you tonight, buddy. You're gonna get the worst grade in school. I'm disappointed. You got the worst grade in the system. The worst grade I've seen. I mean, I knew you were stupid, but this is next level. You don't even know how to spell dog, and you didn't know the capital city of France is Paris? What kind of kid are you? I'm sorry, Dad. I didn't mean to do that. Someone must have tampered with my paper. I definitely said the right answers. I know I did. I don't believe you. Listen to me, son. You're grounded for a month. What? What? No! Ah! <laughs> Now, listen to me, kids. I am your science teacher. Today, we are doing a chemical reaction. A chemical reaction? Hey, that sounds exciting. Maybe I can do another prank on the bully. This is for sure gonna break him. I mean, chemical reaction. We could pull off a really, really big prank. On this table in front of me are a bunch of chemicals and stuff. I just joined here, so I don't know exactly what there is. Uh, but listen to me, kids. We're making a chemical reaction. Right, this should be simple enough. I'll grab one of those, a test tube, some powder, and, uh, oh, milk powder. Why have we got that in here? <laughs> right, take my stuff back to the table. You know what? I'll, I'll just, I'll just deliver everything to everyone, okay? I'm gonna be that nice kid. I'll take some to that table. I've helped everyone get the stuff they need, except this kid, the bully. <laughs> he has the really, really powerful chemicals, and when he starts burning, them. The reaction is gonna be huge. I'm kind of tempted to get some cover. I have no idea how big this is gonna be, but he's gonna be in so much trouble. This one is super simple. Pour the chemical into the pot. Sounds simple enough. Oh dear. Something went wrong. Hey, I didn't think that would happen. Did I bring the wrong things? Whoa, I set fire to the entire classroom. I mean, <clears throat> Billy set fire to the entire classroom. This guy, <laughs> it was his fault. No, it wasn't. You gave me the stuff. Uh, everyone can tell you that as well. They saw you. Uh, we didn't really see anything. Don't ask me, kid. I'm not actually a scientist. Um, I think I'll go now. My last profession as a clown was so much easier than this. Way less responsibility. <laughs> Oh, hello, taxi, taxi, I need to go, taxi, taxi, hello? Just when I thought you couldn't get any stupider, you and me in my office now. Oh boy, guys, his dad really is a mean person. I kind of feel sorry for him, but then again, he's done some really mean things to us. Like last year, he hung me upside down by my boxers. I had the biggest wedgie for the whole day. I know you're pranking me, so you're going to pay. Uh-oh, oh my days, we better get out of here. He knows it's me, my cover is gone. Oh, Okay, what are we gonna do? I can't exactly go into school. He's gonna go after me if I do. Maybe I can sneak through the back door. I'm not done yet, guys. I need to make sure he leaves school for good. If he doesn't, he's gonna make my life terrible. Okay, I think we can sneak through this door. No one uses this entrance. Welcome to today's class. We're going to be doing some art practice today. The bully's sitting right next to me, and he knows exactly what I've done. He knows I'm the guy pranking him. Wait a second, I've got an idea, and this could possibly be the best prank ever. <laughs> but to do this prank, I need someone else's help. I need her help. I'm gonna send her a text. Now, all I need to do is find out if she's in or not. Yes, she's in. We're gonna pretend that she wants to meet him after class. And then we're gonna really embarrass him. Okay, I think we can write this note. Hey, bully, I love your hair. Meet me on the track after class. I think I'll just drop it next to his chair. Perfect, that'll do the trick. Now, who knows how to draw a picture? Oh, man, this class is gonna be so boring. Come on, dude, read the note, read the note. My life literally depends on this. Yes, he's picked it up. Up. He's read the note. That means after class, I might survive. It's your lucky day. If it wasn't for my secret mission, you would be in the ground right now. Let's go and meet the girl of my life. Finally, someone wants to go on a date with me. They finally see clearly. They understand. I am the coolest kid in the class. Hello? Where is she? Maybe I'm early. I think I'll take a seat. You're disrupting my students' yoga. Hey, yeah, whatever, dude. I got a date here. Exercise is a treat, not a chore. Love is pathetic. Give me ten laps. Whoa, whoa, what? Um, no! I won't take no for an answer. Give me ten laps now. Oh, guys, he's met up with the coach, and the coach is really strict. Rumor has it, anyone who stepped foot on the track has been forced to do ten laps. That's literally five kilometers. You can run them, or you can crawl them once I take your legs out. Whoa, this coach is really mean. <laughs> Oh my days, this is amazing. Wow, I should have sent him here earlier. Okay, okay, I'll run them. I'm, I'm running, I'm running, see? I haven't done this much running.
thing ever! Uh, uh, I hate sports! Uh, ten of these? I've only done half! Run faster! Faster! I'm trying! I'm trying! I'm trying! I'm trying, sir! I'm trying! How did these gotta be bothering us today? He's gonna be too tired! Oh, wait! He made it out of the hole! Congratulations, buddy! I'm so glad he survived! Oh, yes! The school bus is here! Just in time! Finally, I'm glad to be on that! <laughs> it looks like I survived another day! Hey! You! Uh-oh! Then again, guys! I think he's finished his tricks! Has he really done that? I found a baseball bat on the track! And it's going in your face! Oh, my days! Guys, he's really not happy! Run! Run! Oh, my days! It's actually happening, guys! He's gonna bury me! Billy! What are you doing? Oh, saved by the father! Get in the car! We're going! Yeah, Billy! What are you doing with the baseball bat? You're not supposed to be holding one of those! I'm sorry, kid! My son, Billy! He's, uh, a bit stupid, you know? Hey, listen! You just take good care of him! Make sure he gets extra tutoring and extra schooling over summer and the holidays! You know, he needs to learn everything! I think he's bullying too many people! Maybe that's what's distracting! Him. I'm taking you home, and you're coming with me. I should have expelled you a long time ago, but it's too late for that now. Let's get out of here. Where do you think they're going to? I gotta find out where they live. Come on, get your bike. We're following that car. I've caught up with them, and it looks like they're pulling into the petrol station for fuel. This is my perfect opportunity. <laughs> he has no idea I'm here, and neither does Billy. I think I'm just gonna park my bike here and jump inside the car. Let's drive forward, and then bail. <laughs> this is gonna be perfect. Help! 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 Dad, it's rolling! Oh, yes, I got the car to roll! And Billy's right inside! The dad's gonna think he's the one who did that! We better hide, quickly! Thanks, mister! Uh, okay! Right! Let's go back to my car! Where's my car? Billy? What are you doing? Are you- What's happened, Billy? Oh, what's going on? Billy, what did you do? Well, my son really is stupid! Stop the car! Stop the car now! Stop the car! I can't, Dad! I can't! I'm trying! Don't crash into the lamppost! Don't do it! Oh, you had to do it! Ow! Ow! Stop the car, Billy! Stop the car! Ow! Ow, Billy! That's it, Billy! You're grounded for a year! But, but, but it wasn't me! It wasn't me! A likely story! I don't believe you, Billy. Not one bit. No, I'm taking you home and telling your mom everything you've done. Whoa, this is their house. It's incredible. I didn't know he lives here. How do they have this much money? Now I found their house, I'm going to do the ultimate prank on my school bully. <laughs> it is time to really make it count. Stupid kids. They think they can prank me? Good job I got my video games to keep me company. I don't need anyone. No one. Yep, that's him, guys. He seems pretty uh angry. But I'm going to make him even angrier to the point where he's going to snap. Let's find the bins in this house. I've already found one bin bag. I'm going to split this open in the entire corridor and make a giant mess. The moment the dad comes upstairs, he's going to be so confused and so angry. Now, let's make sure he blames the bully. Oh, this is going to be risky. This is going to be really risky. Hey, Billy, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you again! You! You! You're dead! Run! 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 Billy! Is that you I can hear? Oh my days, his dad's coming upstairs. Now's my chance! Quick, get out of here now! This wasn't me, Dad! I promise! It was someone else! Who else would have been in the house? It's only me and you! Oh man, that really got him good! And the dad has no idea I was in the house! I think we played that one perfectly! Now, let's go back to school! I wonder if he'll be back there tomorrow. It's a brand new day at school, and I don't see the bully anywhere! Have I finally got rid of him for Good? Did my pranks actually work? Hey, uh, Principal, is your son coming in today? My son isn't coming here again. He's being homeschooled. Yes, I got rid of him, guys. Looks like my pranks worked. <laughs> Seven is the lucky number. There's a trillionaire living in Los Santos, and he's the richest man in the universe. He owns 50 supercars, a luxury giant yacht, and the biggest house in GTA 5. And everyone hates him because every morning he sails around in his yacht, crashes into people, and then honks his horn super loud every house he passes. What a beautiful morning to crash into boats. Stupid peasants. Hey, wake up. Come on. <laughs> Don't make me run you over with this boat, because I will! But it gets worse, because tonight, he's throwing the biggest party, and a hundred of the richest people in the universe are gonna be attending. It happens every year, and the entire city gets trashed. You didn't have to set the building on fire! Yes, I did. It was funny! This guy will never learn, and he has too much money to get himself out of every situation. So I am gonna prank him so good that this party never happens again. It's 10 in the morning, and he's doing his usual routine. 10 push-ups followed by 5 minutes of bragging. 7, 8, 
Nine, ten, hey, what do you think about that? It's kind of embarrassing to watch, but what I'm about to do is gonna be even more embarrassing. Are you ready for this? This is gonna be the best prank ever. And there's so many cars in here. I can't exactly go through them. How are you supposed to get to the middle car? What if I want to drive one of the other ones? <laughs> Careful now, Franklin. We don't want to get spotted. Luckily for us, he's doing his push-ups. I don't think he's gonna be distracted anytime soon. <laughs> After all, he's got two lovely ladies in front of him who he definitely wants to try and impress. I've been watching this guy really closely, and every single time he finishes his exercise routine, he goes to the kitchen and has this disgusting glass of green juice. I mean, look at it. It's so horrible. <laughs> but I know something even more horrible. Blended worms. Once he drinks this, he's gonna run straight to the toilet, and I don't think he's gonna want to throw a party after that. <laughs> right, Franklin, quick, grab the glass. Glass taken. Now put the worms down. Uh, Nice. That's so disgusting. Oh, it stinks. <laughs> Quick, we better get out of here, Franklin, before he finishes his routine. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. I gotta go and drink my green juice now. Here we go. Here we go. He's actually about to take the green juice. Quick, Franklin, run, run, run. I need to see this. I need to see this. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. He's about to take a drink. Guys, get ready for this. <laughs> He's drinking it. No way. This is lovely. Oh, I love the protein. Oh, yeah, nothing better than a green juice. What? How does this guy like that? That's literally blended worms. I got them out of my garden this morning. This doesn't make sense to me. This guy is another species. Oh, my goodness. That, oh, that's so gross. You know what, guys? That's pranked me more than him. <laughs> that is horrible. Siri, save this recipe. That's crazy. I can't believe that didn't work. But don't worry, guys. I got another plan up my sleeve. This prank is gonna be bigger and better than the last one. Are you ready? <laughs> Franklin's dressed as a repairman, and I know there's nothing which needs repairing yet, but soon enough, he's gonna need a repair, because I'm about to do something a little bit cheeky. <laughs> there he is, in the garden, looking at his luxury helicopter, and still drinking the blended worms. Oh! Right, that's it. Let's play prank number two. You see this TV over here? I'm gonna smash the TV quickly, so let's quickly just hit the TV, and... Oh, I really got that good. Quick, we better run. Run, run. <laughs> what was that? Oh, no. This is my TV. It's been smashed. This cannot be. I need my TV for the party. I need your repairman now. Yes, that's my perfect chance. I think... Oh, put that away, Franklin. I think you said you needed a repairman. Well, it just so happens I'm in the area. I know exactly how to fix TVs. <laughs> I'll do it for uh, five bucks. Wow, that was quick. Uh, yeah, uh, fix my TV now and do it quickly. Like, really quickly. Yeah, yeah, okay, don't worry. I know exactly what to do. I'm sure I've fixed this a million times, haven't we, Franklin? There is something glitching inside. Uh, how hard did we hit that TV, Franklin? Here we go. Oh, I'm making real good progress now. See, I'm fixing a TV. Let me just take a look. Yep, those cracks are definitely getting bigger. <laughs> Eventually, we'll take the screen off and replace the whole thing. Just make sure it's fixed. I'm gonna go and lie down. You got it, mister. Have a good nap. Amazing. Now he's going to lie down. I have all the time in the world to play the best prank ever. <laughs> I am gonna sneak around the place until I find his vault of cash. <laughs> this looks like a place you would keep your money. There's a keypad and there's a locked door, which isn't locked, but there's the vault. <laughs> oh, oh my days. So I'm gonna just open this vault and take all of his money. I mean, I, I think that's a pretty good prank. <laughs> if he's not the richest man in the world, he won't be able to afford this party or the aftermath. Right, let's uh, get this thing open. Access denied. Access denied. Night? What could the password be? Let's try 1111. Access denied. Three attempts remaining. Don't oh, know. Okay, I gotta find the password to the vault. Let's see, it's gotta be around here somewhere. If I was him, I would keep it close by in case I forget the password. I mean, I don't really fancy blowing through that door. What does that say? Days since injury. Zero? Oh my days, this guy's terrible at running a workshop. <laughs> Let's see, what about through this door? Is there a password in here? Oh my goodness, this is a firing range. No way, that's crazy. This guy's got it all, but I have no idea where this vault password is. Unless, is this what I think it is? It is. I found a secret elevator, which takes me upstairs. I didn't realize this level existed. The games room, wow. <laughs> now I want this guy's money. There's so much in here. Right, let's see. Where would he keep the password, Franklin? It's gotta be here somewhere. He's got a snooker table, even air hole. Hockey? And what is this? Out of order? What do you do here? Oh no, guys. I think he raged at it. <laughs> Wait a second. There is a note in there, though. Do you reckon that's the password? Let's find out. 
phone number. Guys, I got his phone number. No way. I think I'll keep that till later. <laughs> so I found his phone number, but still no password. Oh, wait a second, guys. I think maybe this could be it. Yes, vault password. Oh, it was one, two, three, four. That's so easy. Well, I got his password. Let's go and open that vault and steal all of his money. I wonder how much is in there. I mean, this guy is a trillionaire. The richest man in GTA 5. He's bound to have a vault full of cash. But I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's do this. One, two, three, four. No way. What? What? Hang on a second. He's got a turret? What do you have this? A golden minigun? Wow. <laughs> and look at all these bars. No way. Hey, Franklin, stuff your pockets and get all of the gold. <laughs> He's even got missiles and cash. No way. But I'm going to do something even better. I've just taken like a bunch of gold. Let's just say a couple of million. <laughs> <laughs> and I am going to make sure this guy can't get the rest. Now I've got his password. I'm going to change the password on the vault. And there's nothing he can do about it. Enter new password to reset. Hmm. 9876. There we go. So now I've changed the vault password. He can't get into his money. <laughs> and to give him a little bit of a kick, you know, to make sure he gets pranked straight away, let's do something even crazier, which is going to make him want to get his money out. <laughs> his luxury super yacht. This is what he uses to annoy everyone in the neighborhood. And once it's destroyed, everyone's going to celebrate. Except for him, of course. I don't think there's anyone on here, but it's too late anyway. Let's just throw some sticks down. <laughs> This is gonna be insane. Oh my days. He's gonna be so angry, but he's definitely gonna wanna open this vault once this is destroyed. This is a luxury super yacht. There are five levels, and everything about this is high end. I look at the lounge. <laughs> There's even a kitchen in here. In fact, I think this yacht is bigger than his house. How crazy is that? For another one down, another one. Oh my goodness. This is actually gonna be insane. <laughs> I can't wait to explode this. And let's put one more down. Perfect. Now get out of here, Franklin. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. Three, two, one, explode! <laughs> Whoa, I actually elevated it. Dude, it came up from the sky. It's drowned. I can't even see it anymore. <laughs> and just like that, his yacht has disappeared. And I can actually hear cheering from the other guy over there. Wow, that's that's awesome. <laughs> Yay! Luckily for us, he has so many cars. I'm going to hide right between them all and catch his reaction, which should be in three, two, one. My yacht! There we go. I knew it. No. No! No! Who did this? This can't be. This can't be. My yacht. My beautiful yacht. Is it really? Is it gone? I love that thing. More than my wife. More than my second wife. And my third. It's gone. I promise. I will find the person who did that. But first, I need to get another one. You cannot be rich without a luxury yacht. My vault. My vault. My vault. Hey. Hey. Open the vault for me. One. 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 Access denied. Access what? What? Hey, let's try this again. One. 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 One! Incorrect password. Incorrect password? Incorrect you! Give me my money! Now! Vault has been permanently locked. No! Open the vault! How could this be? I remember the password! This is great! He has no idea that someone tampered with it! <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I'll leave him to it. No money, no party! <laughs> My job here is done! Wait a minute, is that a van? Oh no! Guys, he might actually get inside the vault! He called someone out to open it! Hey, what vault needs opening? Mine! It's locked. Hey, no problem. You called the best locksmith in town. Thanks. Now get it open. Somebody changed the password. Not to worry. I got the best hacking system around. Bibbidi bop, 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 and it's open. Just like that? Yeah, super easy. You gotta give me half of what's inside, though. No chance. Get out. Wow, okay, okay. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> and I'm sorry. I was just joking. Oh, boy, we better go. Miguel Olsen, out. Bye. That was fun. I'm out of here now. Oh, why is this drive so long? Why is this so long? <laughs> Ow! Ah, no, no, no. Hey, guys. Miguel Olsen, engineers. Who needs someone to open a vault? My money. Yes. I can't believe that prank didn't work either. Although now he has lost his super yacht. <laughs> but he's not broken yet. I'm doing prank number three. Remember, I still got his phone number. And we're going to give him a call and uh, <laughs> play the best prank ever. Hello? This. Hi, Dad? Is that you? Timmy, Timmy? I miss you, Dad. I, um, meet me here. <laughs> 
perfect. I set him a location and let's start this prank. I just took a lucky guess that he had a son out there somewhere who he hadn't seen in a long, long, long time. <laughs> and it actually paid off. I'm sure he won't mind if I borrow one of these cars. Let's take this one. You're seriously gonna love this prank. It is so genius. I should have come up with this even sooner. <laughs> but this is gonna make sure he never has a party again. If this actually works, everyone in Los Santos is gonna celebrate. The Raven Factory. <laughs> now I need to hide my car somewhere so he doesn't spot me. Let's just leave it uh, with this cow. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Who's gonna park my car here? Can you look after it for me? Yep, thanks, thanks, appreciate it. I am gonna find somewhere perfect to hide, like this bin. Quick, hide in this bin. <laughs> this is a strange place to meet. Raven Factory. Does this guy work in a smelly factory? Ugh, can't believe he's my son. Well, he told me to meet him outside these doors. I was told specifically to wait right here. There's a big surprise for me. This is kind of strange. Hey, why is there a golden car in the field of cows? Really weird out here. Hey, hey, what's that siren? Do you hear that? Is it Timmy? Is that you? Uh, 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 get out of here! Uh, run! 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 Hey, can I borrow your car? Thank you! Quick! 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 Go! 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 Hey, my car! Give me my car! Oh! Oh! You shot me! Oh! That really hurts! Police! What do you guys want? I'm just here for my son! You tell that to the judge! We got him! Go what? I didn't do anything! Yeah, you tell that to the judge! He already told me that! Well, I'll tell you it again! This is working so well! They're arresting him! They think he was the guy involved in the robbery. That's perfect! <laughs> hey, thanks, Trevor. I think I'll have to high-five you after this. Let's do a digital one. Da -ba! <laughs> Wait a second. They're looking our way. Quick, hide. <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect, but very gross down here. Bye-bye, rich guy. Have a good time in prison. <laughs> They're actually taking him away. This is perfect. <laughs> get me out of here. I don't think you're getting out of there anytime soon, buddy. <laughs> there is no way he'll be able to throw this party now. We've done so well, Franklin. I'm getting a phone call from the prison. Could this be him? Listen to me, Timmy. When's my birthday? Oh no, guys, he's asking me when his birthday is, and I don't know that, which is gonna prove that I'm not actually his son. Let's just make a guess. I mean, there's one out of 365 days I can choose from. Um, it's every year, Dad, of course, like everyone else. Tell me when my birthday is. Tell me when my birthday is. Hey, hey, what's your birthday? I'll just go with that. Let me know your birthday, uh, please. Uh, 10th of November? Oh, okay, 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 well. Uh, uh, 10th of November. Wrong, it's the 11th of November. You're not my son. I was one day off. Hey, Dad, one day off, man. Come on, give me a break. When I get out of this jail, I'm gonna find you, and you're gonna regret it. Well, I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. <laughs> you're gonna be there for a long, long, long time. Oh, yeah? Let's just see about that. See you soon. Oh, it's on. It's on. <laughs> now this is gonna get fun. Me versus the richest man in GTA 5. What could possibly go wrong? I actually have good personality and I know how to do a good prank. That guy, he just has money. There's no way we'll see him anytime soon. Wait a minute. Oh my days. It's their tanks. Their tanks. Their tanks. Drive. Fire. Now. Okay. All right. We better get out of here. Hey, mister. How do you get out of jail? That's not fair. Quick drive. 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 Oh no, you don't. I'm coming to get you. I'm gonna get you. Let's do this. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here now. He escaped. Well, I know who he is now. We're gonna find him. And when I see him again, he's going down. Four. That was a close one. He almost had me. I have no idea he was out of prison already. I literally saw him get locked up. We have to be extra careful now. He knows exactly who I am and I still haven't broken him. Although he is getting very angry with us now. <laughs> if you want me to keep pranking him, subscribe to my channel and press like on the video now. If we get 20,000 likes, I will not stop pranking him until he breaks. He knows who I am, so we better be careful. So right now, I'm hiding on his roof and if he had any idea I was up here, he would literally burn the house down. Yeah, but he's down there on the phone. I wonder what he's saying. No pranks, no funny business. I want the fastest car money could buy. The king of San Andreas is coming and I need to beat him in a race. Ah, uh, you got it, boss. Don't worry. This is the fastest car money could buy. I built this amazing creation myself. There's a rocket on the back and once you press button, you boom! Straight off. I like it. How much? You can't really put a price tag on this, but if I had to, I would say like, uh, I don't know, uh, 100 million bucks. Son, you got yourself a deal. Come on inside. 100 million dollars for that car? 
that guy's getting ripped off. <laughs> uh, thank you. You're the kindest person in the world. So, how would I get this money? In cash or in check or uh, in gold? In gold, of course. Gold is the only way forced. All right, that is. I love gold. I melted down and turned it into golden apples just for me to eat in the morning. You're weird, kid. You're really weird. So, where do you keep this uh, gold of yours? Uh, this is a very empty house. Oh, you know. It's, uh, right here. What is going on down there? Hey, I don't think he's gonna come back out of that house. He's really angry. I think he just took him out. Well, since the car is still there, what if I try and prank him with the ride? <gasps> that would be perfect. I call this the improvised prank. I've got a jerry can full of gasoline, and I'm sure he won't mind if I pour this all over the engine. So when this car starts, <laughs> it's gonna light the gasoline on fire and blow everything up. <laughs> come on, let's get more on the car. More of it on the car. Come on, get it all over the engine. All over the thing. <laughs> He's gonna be so annoyed when he sees this. Oh, this is gonna be epic. This is gonna be so epic. Please, mister, leave me alone. Oh, my days. What is going on in there, dude? He's still... Okay, right, Franklin, we better speed this up. I do not want any problems with this guy. Yeah, we'll throw down some stickies. All right, nice. We'll just throw a couple down there. He's got so many cars. <laughs> We'll just blow everything up. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so epic. And just in case everything fails, let's just plunk one right next to the engine, like that. Oh, he'll never see that. <laughs> Perfect, I've completed the plan. Now it's time for the prank. He's getting in, he's getting in, he's getting in. No way. <laughs> this is literally gonna be insane. Now, how does this work? Okay, engine and go. Oh, oh. He actually did it. He exploded every single car. <laughs> Oh my days. Yo, where did he go? Look at these cars. Every one of them has been destroyed. This is an explosion. Oh my days. We better get out of here. We better get out of here. <laughs> I just destroyed literally every single car of his. I'm gonna find you. Oh yeah. Well, you're gonna have to look a little bit closer, buddy. I'm literally on your roof. There is no way he's gonna find me now. <laughs> But now every single car is destroyed. What is he gonna do about this party? Listen, you two. I want cars. Lots of them. Go get them. Yes, boss. And show more enthusiasm. Yes, boss. Too much. This guy just can't make up his mind. If only he knew I was on his roof, he would literally tear this place down. I just know he would. But speaking of which, let's go into the next prank. <laughs> I've been up here a while, and I've discovered a few pretty interesting things. For example, this entire house is built over a giant gap. It's elevated. So I've got a plan that we might actually be able to do. If I can just about place stickies in the right places, we might be able to destroy the entire house. Do you think we can do it? <laughs> I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's do it. If I can destroy his house, then he is gonna be so angry. Perfect. It's working. We're getting him in the rock. <laughs> Let's put some a little bit lower down, too. Oh, yeah, amazing. If we go over the foundations, then this place is gonna crumble so much. <laughs> he loves this house, but without a house, he's not gonna have a party. And he's 100% gonna break. Three, two, one. Let's destroy this house. Go! <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's coming down. It's coming down. Oh, that didn't work out too well. Uh-oh. Franklin, we better get up. That's him. You destroyed my house. You're going down for a long time. What do you mean? No, you can't do this to me. It wasn't me. I, I was just a passerby. You can't prove anything. You're wearing the same outfit as before. Oh, no, he's right. He's got me here, and that siren's I can hear. Please, man, please. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to prank you. Too late. You're going to jail. Oh, no. Franklin, we might have failed this one. I can't believe it. Only five pranks in two. I didn't mean to do anything, officer. I promise. Hey, Frank, don't sweat it. This guy needs to get pranked good. Michael, is that you? <laughs> No way! Michael is pretending to be a police officer! I've been watching you, Frank. Uh, those pranks are good, but we can do better! Better? No way! Am I gonna prank this guy with Michael D. Santa? You're a legend! <laughs> He's moved to another house out of Los Santos, and this one is even nicer! He's got bodyguards everywhere, luxury planes, so many supercars, and a giant swimming pool! And this place looks like a masterpiece! I need to pull off a pretty big prank if we want to ruin this party! But it's already getting too late, because 
as some of his guests are beginning to arrive. The driveway is filling with cars, and there's three people waiting to get inside. And I can hear music already. Make sure their name's on the list. No pranksters. Yes, boss. Hey, Michael, did you hear that? There's a guest list. If we can get our hands on that guest list, then we could tweak a few names and remove some others. <laughs> and add our names on there. And then we can just walk straight in. Hey, uh, first things first, Franklin. We better put on a new change of clothes. He knows exactly who we are, and he'll be able to spot us a mile away. There we go. Back to normal. He won't suspect a thing. <laughs> so I gotta get my hands on that guest list. Luckily for us, I found a perfect way to sneak inside. But there's a couple of bouncers hiding around. The only guy who's my worry is this guy. Bam! <laughs> and now he's not. Now's my chance. They're already dancing upstairs. And I don't think there's anyone at the door. <laughs> Apart from the two bouncers. Come on, Franklin. Don't screw this up. Don't screw this up. We're gonna take them both out and check out that guest list. I wonder who's coming to the party. Do you have any ideas? I mean, it's the top 100 riches. We gotta know some names on there. Hey, sorry, buddy. I need that clipboard. And you as well. Give me the clipboard. <laughs> Stay down. Oh, my days. In the hedge. That's perfect. Right, let's get that clipboard. Who's coming to the party? <gasps> what? Tom Cruise and Ronaldo? <laughs> right, they, they gotta go off the list. We're gonna really annoy them. And uh, yeah, you know what? Just rub, rub all these names off. 90% of the names, get rid of them. Amazing. And put Franklin Clinton, Michael DeSanta. All right, quick, get out of here, Franklin. Get out of here. I'm just gonna walk straight in after this. They have no idea it was me who knocked them out. And when I go back up there, they'll literally let me inside. <laughs> but I can't wait to see what happens when Tom Cruise arrives. He is gonna kick up a big fuss. And so is Ronaldo, the most famous football player in the universe. Ugh, don't tell boss, okay? Boss won't know about this. Neither will our wives. Or our friends. Oh, that was so embarrassing. Really embarrassing. Here we go. It's working. Uh, wait a second. I think I can see them both. Uh, <laughs> hey, guys. Sorry. I think I'm on the guest list. No one's being let in. This is amazing. <laughs> it's Ronaldo and it's Tom Cruise. Listen, guys. Your name's not on the list, okay? But I'm Ronaldo. And I am Tom Cruise. I love your films and I'm a big fan, Ronaldo. But you're not on the list, okay? I, I can't let you in. Ronaldo! Yes, I know your name. You don't need to tell me again. But I can't let you in, okay? Just go. 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 I can't. My plane's on the runway. I flew here. That's very impressive, Tom. Why didn't you just go inside? Because I'm a good boy, and I always go through the list. Hey, Tom Cruise, Ronaldo, uh, Franklin Clinton here. I think I'm on the list. Yes, you are, son. You go in. Thank you. Thank you very much, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's he? He's not rich. Yeah, yeah. Ronaldo, thanks for giving me up, man. Yeah, really appreciate that, man. Really appreciate it. <laughs> now I'm inside the house. I got to keep a low profile because I am going to sabotage a few things. Let's go straight for the music first. That's some really nice tunes he's playing, but it would be a shame if we were to mix things up a little bit. <laughs> There's the richest guy. He hasn't seen me yet. Looks like he's having a little bit of a boogie with the other guys. <laughs> okay, you know what, guys? Let's just um find the stereo wherever that is. Do -do -do, do -do 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 -do. Just please don't look at me. I am in new uniform now. New clothes. New clothes. You have no idea who I am. There's the speaker system. Perfect. Oh my goodness. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> Now, I am going to replace the music with something else. Hmm, embarrassing music. Perfect. Let's put this CD in. <laughs> Whoa, okay, this is a real big difference now. <laughs> okay, we better get out of here. We better get out of here. I love this music. Hey, you, come here. Oh, no. I think he likes the music. Are you having me on, buddy? Um, hey. <laughs> hey, you like the music then? Yeah. Uh, do I recognize you? No, you definitely don't. You definitely don't. No, I do. You're the, uh, yeah, you're the guy at the supermarket, right? Yes. Yeah, I am that guy. Oh, my days. I'm getting so nervous. I need to go. I need to go. Guess what? Tom Cruise is coming. And so is Ronaldo. They're on the list. Oh, yeah, you might want to check on that list, but, um, <laughs> that's pretty cool. I'm just going to go outside for a second. Oh, how's it going, buddy? Lots of guards here. Jeez. And whilst I'm out here, I am going to go on to phase number two. There he is. My guy, Michael. Michael, did you bring them? Did you bring them? Of course I did. But we gotta be careful. I know, we need to be really careful. Now take the rats out of the bag, one by one. You fit all of them in your bag? That's pretty impressive, Michael. Well, <laughs> what are we waiting for? Let's set them off. Hey, rats, go on. There's food inside. Go to the music. <laughs> now we've unleashed a bunch of rats. There's only one thing left to do. Run! <laughs> get out of here, Franklin! Rats! There's rats! Get here now! I think I'm gonna get out of here. Hey, guys, you don't wanna go in there. There's rats in the house. <laughs> I'm gonna hide in this bush. Hide here, Franklin. Hide here. Hide, hide, hide. He'll never see us in here. Perfect. Nobody pranks me and gets away with it. Nobody. Come back here. Get here now. Come back here. Where do you go? 
Where did you go? I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna. Uh, 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 <laughs> I tripped. Where did you go? Okay, now's my chance. I'm over here. Over where? Over here? Are you sure? Oh! oh <laughs> you, you tricked me. Ow! 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 Oopsie Daisy. Sorry, Mister. I think what I was meant to say is I was uh, hiding in this bush. <laughs> now he's out the way and broken at least all of his bones. <laughs> I'm gonna go and enjoy the rest of this party. And since I'm on the list, maybe I can make an exception and let Tom Cruise and Ronaldo in. I would love to party with them. <laughs> what do you mean your name's not on the list? Wait a minute. I think I can hear his... <gasps> He's still there. How is he there? That's literally impossible. Who did I just throw off the drive? Hey, listen, man. I came here in my private jet and I really wanted to party. Tom, you're on the guest list. I don't understand. Yeah, well, tell that to your bouncer. Ronaldo! Your name is not on the list. What do you mean it's not on the list? I put him on there personally. Let me take a look. Oh, no. This list has been messed with. Ronaldo, Tom Cruise, I'm really sorry. Will you forgive me? No, I won't forgive you. I flew here. In fact, you're never being in my movies again. Never. But no, Tom, I love those films. I really want to be in them again. I'll do anything. I'll be your stunt double. I'll break my kneecaps. I promise. No. What do you mean? No, Tom. You know what? I'm done with you. Yeah, I'm done with everyone. Yeah. Oh, no. We better get out of here. Frankly, he's going crazy. <laughs> oh, no. Wait a second. I've missed the final prank. No, the seventh prank. Hey, guys, don't leave. You're going to miss the ultimate part of the party. The fireworks. Isn't that right, Michael? Hey, just let me uh, let me get on that roof quickly. Let me get on that roof. Don't set them off yet, Michael. Don't set them off yet. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. Three, two, one. Firework time. <laughs> Oh my days, that's insane. We blew everything up. <laughs> hey, mister, look who got pranked. Good. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Hey, yeah, you might want to look behind you first, buddy. There's a couple of police officers, and I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> no. Sir, get on your knees now. This wasn't my fault. I was pranked. We got all that proof we need. You're going to jail, and this time, forget. No. I can't believe that actually worked. We pranked him so well, and he's stuck in jail, and I don't think he's gonna get out anytime soon. He took out Tom Cruise, Ronaldo, and a bunch of other party guests. So, Franklin, our job here is done, and since he's now in jail, I think I'll take this house for myself. <laughs> it's a pretty nice place. I mean, after all, I haven't even been inside this room yet, but I think he's got his own vault. Wow, he does. Look at all this gold. It's now mine! <laughs> and we should probably throw a pretty crazy party. What do you think? Sounds like a great idea, boss. He's even calling me boss. Fantastic. Well, Welcome back to pranking on Halloween with Michael De Santa. You're in for a treat because I have prepared the ultimate prank. No one falls asleep on Halloween when other people are awake, but Amanda has made the rookie mistake. So I went out and found a ghost hologram machine. I didn't think they existed. This guy isn't even real. He's just a pretend fake ghost. And when I switch the power off and tell Amanda to wake up, she's gonna be scared straight out of her skin. <laughs> because she's gonna see this ghost. And then I have got another trick up my sleeve. Alright, let's go and switch the lights off, Michael. This is gonna be amazing. I can't wait to do this. Alright, switch off the power. Duh! And just like that, the power's off. Perfect. Now I can see everything going on. Now let's go back into the lounge and wake Amanda up. Oh my days, he is terrifying. He's so scary. And <laughs> Amanda's gonna see him, but she can't see me because it's pitch black. Uh, Amanda, wake up. There's a ghost. There's a ghost. What? Shh, shh, don't ruin the surprise. Yeah, there's a ghost. There's a ghost. Michael, help me. Don't make a sound. Don't make a sound. Just stay very quiet. Oh no, I think I just knocked a book over. What was that? She's coming straight to me. Rah! Hey, uh, Amanda, it was just the machine. I can't believe she fell for that. That was the best prank we could have done on Halloween, Michael. You're evil. You're... Uh. Wait, I think Amanda's passing out. Hey, Amanda, wake up. Come on, it was never meant to be this bad. Come on, wake up. Oh, man. Well, she's going to be out for a few hours. Hopefully, she doesn't remember any of this. <laughs> we really pranked her so good. But now it's time to prank even more of my... Friends, who, who's calling me? Hmm, who would dare call me tonight? This is meant to be like Halloween holidays. Hi, Michael. Would you like to play a game? Hey, what game do you want to play? I love games. Do you want some cards? Do you want to play some Catan? Like, let me know. I think this is just a really lonely person who wants to play some games on Halloween. I was thinking of a different game. What kind of game are you thinking? 
Oh, that's my doorbell. Do I answer the doorbell? Oh, jeez, they're phoning me again. Hello, what do you want? Do, do you want to play a game or what? Answer the door, Michael. Do I answer the door? Have you seen the Scream films? Ghostface? If that's him, then we gotta be extra careful. This is a perfect opportunity to prank on Halloween. <gasps> And we can use our pranks on people who actually deserve them. Stop ringing the doorbell. I'm not gonna answer the door. I need to see if this really is Ghostface. Oh my days, it is. Ghostface is waiting at my door. All right, let's think about this. He's not gonna come inside because I've locked all the doors. That was a smash window. All right, maybe he has come inside. Maybe he's just broken a window and... Okay, he is inside. That's Ghostface. Run, 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 run. Lock the door, Michael. Lock the door. Lock the door. Lock the door, Michael. Oh my goodness. He's in my house. He's literally in my house. Okay, think fast, Michael. Think fast. If we're gonna prank Ghostface, we need to do it now. He's rattling the door. Ghostface, you're not coming in. Oh, great. He's phoning me again. I'm not gonna pick up. No, 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 no. Okay, right. We can figure this out. Oh, the bathroom window. So he thinks I'm in the bathroom. I don't think he knows about that window. Right, now's my chance to really prank him good. I'm gonna give him a taste of his own medicine. But we better do this extra carefully. Oh, my days! He's literally on the stairs. All right, okay, all right. Let's not do it like this. Ah, uh, back on the roof. Back on the roof, Michael. Ghost face. Just standing in my driveway. I've never had to think of a prank this quickly. I was gonna give him a taste of his own medicine, but clearly this is gonna be even more tricky. All right, here we go. Now he's phoning me again. Let's play a game. I don't know who you are. I don't know what your name is. But can you please leave my house? Or else things are gonna get really ugly and you're gonna get the worst prank of your life. We'll see about that. Okay, I'm kind of scared. Kind of scared. But everything will be okay. I'm gonna sneak in through Jimmy's bedroom. Slowly now. Slowly. Don't make a sound, Michael. Not a single sound. If I can just sneak up on Ghostface, we can prank him. Really good. There's Amanda. Still passed out. Kind of good she is right now. Oh my days. He's literally right there. Let's give him a phone call. And calling. There we go. His phone's going. Hey, Ghostface. Look behind you. What? Ah, got him. Nice. Ghostface is down. That's the last time you try and sneak up on me, Ghostface. Now let's get a photo of him and post this out. There he goes. Ghostface on the camera. Perfect. Now, where were we? Amanda, are you awake? How did you sleep through all of that, Amanda? She still fainted. The radio's going off. What could this be now? No one's phoning me. This is an actual radio talking. We got some terrible news. Another kid taken by Pennywise the Clown. Pennywise the Clown? What a scary book that is. And what a scary film it is. But Pennywise is in this universe? If we manage to prank Ghostface Michael, I reckon we can prank Pennywise. And I have just the idea. Pennywise never shows himself in the daylight. And I have no idea why. It's about time we find out ourselves. I've got a bulldozer and we're going straight down into the sewers where Pennywise lives. There is no other place in this world where Pennywise would be other than the sewers. And it's about time we pick up Pennywise and bring him outside into the daylight. I'm so excited. This is gonna be a first for all of us. Pennywise in the sun. Do you reckon Pennywise is gonna burn up like a vampire? <laughs> It's time to find out. Wait a minute. Have I just found Pennywise? Oh my days, that was so much easier than I thought. Why is Pennywise just dancing there? Time to prank Pennywise good. Sorry, Pennywise, get in. Now I've got Pennywise. Oh, now you're in trouble. Now I gotta get Pennywise out of here. That's the tricky part. <laughs> I have Pennywise in the front of my dozer. This is still a prank, by the way. Surprisingly, a really easy prank to do. But I need to see what happens when we show Pennywise to the sun. Daylight at last. All I gotta do is make it up that final concrete ramp. And we'll find out what happens to Pennywise in the sun. It's so bright outside all my days. Hey, Pennywise, are you ready for this? Time to get pranked really good. Yo, Pennywise is on fire. Pennywise is on fire. Oh, get her out, get her out, get her out, get her out. Get Pennywise out! Pennywise is literally on fire, dude! Okay, I'm just gonna ditch the dozer for now. Pennywise is on fire. That's why you don't bring her out to the sun. Well, now we prank Pennywise. That was a pretty good prank if you ask me. <laughs> We managed to take Pennywise to the sun, and this is what happens. Oh, no. A police officer saw exactly what I did. Hey, officer. Pennywise was terrifying, and you pranked him good. We could do with somebody like you. What exactly do you want me to do? Prank the other Halloween monsters. Give them a taste of their own medicine. You know what, officer? That sounds like a pretty good idea. Count me in. Whoa, I've been sent to the prison, and I'm in a police uniform. That's pretty cool, Michael. We're in prison, and we're not the prisoner. But in here is another Halloween monster. 
monster. So dangerous that every single guard has to give him 24-7 attention. I'm gonna prank them so well that they will never want to be a monster again. Do you have any idea who I'm pranking? Go on, make a guess. Just, just make a random guess. I'm pretty sure you'll know if you've seen the films or even the trailers. Yeah, all right, I can hear your guesses. And let me tell you, about 50% of you guys are right. We're pranking Michael Myers, and I found him already. He's chilling on this bench. Hey, Mike, what happened to your face? Did a car drive over you or something? <laughs> Well, that looks pretty bad, actually. Definitely not a talker. I can't tell if this guy's looking at me or not. Hey, Michael, are you looking at me? It's actually kind of a scary mask. It looks like he's looking at me in all directions. I don't like this. He's freaking me out. You know what, Michael? Just prank him. Hey, Michael, I got a treat for you. I made you a sandwich. Cheese sandwich? I know. I, I know, guys. It's not actually a cheese sandwich. It's... <laughs> this is actually, uh, spreadable grub. Bite it. Eat it. There we go. There... There we go. I'll take. You know what? That's just a bite. That's a bite and a half. Michael has taken a bite of the bagel. It's nice. What do you mean it's nice? He's going for another bite. Yeah, I'm the same. I would play the sirens as well. That's high alert pressure right there. He enjoys that? You know what? I'm just going to get out of here. He's enjoying that bagel. He's freaking me out too much. I've already pranked him. That should at least crush his confidence a fraction. Officers, not to worry. I dealt with Michael Myers. He's going to be broken in uh, two weeks. You just wait. No, 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 no. Michael, please tell me you got your keys. Where could they have gone? Okay, you know what? It can't be too bad. It's fine. I dropped the keys in the prison. Oh, maybe I'll put them down somewhere in a staff room or something. Hey, officers, can you just let me out, please? Thanks, guys. I'm sure they're around here somewhere. Yeah, I, I think I definitely put them down in the staff room. Yeah, that would make sense. Or even the tower. That would make so much sense. When I was making the sandwich. <sighs> right, you know what, Michael? Let's just get out of here. I wonder if there's any other Halloween people we can prank. Let's see. What's on that radio? Oh, come on. There's got to be someone we can prank. There's got to be somebody. Okay, what about the next channel? Oh, this is a nice song, though. I like this song. This is a good... Hello, Michael. Song? Was that the radio? I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, oh my days. He's in the car. He's in the car. Oh, oh my... Ah, ah, ah. Oh, my days. He just took Michael out. Oh, that was insane. <laughs> Michael Myers is not to be messed with. Oh, that was insane. I have lost Michael for good. <laughs> He's gone. Oh, looks like Mike Myers took his keys then. Well... <sighs> Franklin, do you want to do some pranking? I don't think we got a choice because that radio is telling me something else. I'm telling you, the good shrimps, the level of face exists. He's on an island. He took my girlfriend. I know where they are. I know. Let's go and investigate, Franklin. I think we better keep up with these pranks. We're not letting Michael die out for good. We're going to keep his legacy going, especially since it's Halloween. This is Leatherface Island. It actually exists in GTA 5, and I don't recommend anyone goes here. Typical. Every time Halloween comes around, all of these monsters decide it's a great time to snatch up some people. Why don't you wait until another time of the year when people aren't suspicious, you know? Come on! Hey, Chief, have you seen anything suspicious? Nothing suspicious. Just a few graves and a wooden house. Nothing suspicious? I mean, a few graves is pretty suspicious, man. Ugh, these guys need retraining. <sighs> okay, Leatherface is definitely on that island, and we are gonna prank him so good. But first, I need to swim there. Oh my days! Not like that, Franklin. If we want to actually survive this video, we gotta be careful. I gotta swim to the island and not make a single sound. This guy has the hearing of an eagle. If we get close enough and if we make the slightest sound, he will hear us. Very carefully get up on this island. Nice. I'm on. I know this place all too well. That's his lair. There's the gravestones they were talking about. This is where he keeps people before he uses the chainsaw. And believe me, you don't want to see him use the chainsaw. This is getting really real now. But I think it's time we play the prank on him. Oh, oh goodness, I didn't even see them. There's body bags down there. I really hope they're empty. It doesn't look like they are. I've dug a hole in the ground, and when Leatherface chases me, I'm gonna make sure he falls down this. <laughs> yeah, and then he'll be stuck in the hole. Let's go and get his attention. Oh, what a lovely day to be kidnapped by Leatherface! There he is! Run, 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 run! <laughs> Come on out to me, Leatherface! He's chasing me. I can hear his chainsaw. <laughs> run, Franklin, run! We gotta get him down this hole quickly! Oh, it is. No, no, go over the rock. Go over the rock. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Quick, Leatherface. Right, that's it, Leatherface. Go on, go on, get him, Franklin. Go on, get in the hole. Get in the hole. Come on, I should have dug this bigger. Oh, no. Leatherface is stuck in the ground. What are we gonna do? Well, I'm sure he'll have some friends who will help him out. I mean, there's always gotta be someone who likes him. Family. Who knows? It's been a pleasure, Leatherface. Now, he won't be bothering anyone else anytime soon. Do you hear that? That's a scream from Sandy Shores. Let's go and check that out, Franklin. Is that another Halloween monster? Are you serious? All these Halloween monsters just doing this crazy stuff in Halloween? I never get a break right now. Come on. <laughs> right, let's do the sixth prank of the day on Halloween. Starting off with Amanda. Upgrading to Ghostface. Going through all these crazy monsters. Who could it possibly be this time? I don't care who it is. They're getting pranked good. This is where the screaming came from. And there's a sheriff car already on the scene. This can't be good. There's someone on the ground. Hey guys, what's going on here? What? 
What's the big deal, huh? We caught everything on the camera. It's Freddy Krueger, the guy in the burnt down house. This is Freddy Krueger's house, or at least was Freddy Krueger's house. The public burned it down when they realized who he was, and he hasn't been back since. Until now, I suppose. Well, I'm not letting him ruin my day. Come on, Franklin. We can add another prank onto the list. Let's get him good. I've made a trail of money from his house all the way to a trap. As you can see, there's some dollar bills, more dollar bills, and here is the trap. Inside is a box of fake money, which looks real. <laughs> you will have no choice but to jump inside. I mean, who would miss out on this much cash? Meanwhile, Franklin will be waiting in the driver's seat. And when this guy gets on the truck, we're going. I can see money. Hmm. Uh -huh. More money? Hmm. I can do with this. Hmm. What is this? Lots of money. Hmm. Look at this. Now's my chance. Lock those doors. Sorry, Freddy Krueger, but I gotta take you somewhere else. Hey, let me out. Let me out. Uh, no, can you please stop talking? That's a really, really high-pitched voice, Freddy. <laughs> you're gonna give me a headache if you keep talking. That's the worst thing about him. I hope you're sitting tight, Freddy, because this is gonna hurt. Here we go. Now remember to bail, Franklin. Another radio cool. Tonight is one year since Billy's last sighting. Be careful on the streets. He might strike again. Billy, of course. Billy from Saw. Oh, that really scary doll who puts people through mazes. And tonight is the night he might actually reappear. I know exactly where he'll be. It's always the same spot. Hasta la vista. Have fun, my guy. Jump out, Franklin. Franklin, jump out. Franklin, jump out. Jump out, Franklin. Jump down. <laughs> Not now, Franklin. Oh, that was such a bad idea. Ow. Ow. Ow, ow, what's wrong with your parachute? Oh, he really doesn't want to use that for some reason. And now I can't play as him. We're playing as Trevor. <laughs> this is the riskiest prank episode I've done. Every Halloween, Billy drives his van around the shopping district, where everyone's celebrating and partying. People he can throw in his van and put in his terrifyingly scary maze. If you end up in there, there is no way you're getting out alive. It's pretty close to where it was parked last time, and I know it's his. Do you know why? Because if it's not, this guy is playing a pretty bad Halloween joke. <laughs> Something which is definitely gonna get him into trouble. Because the number plate says Billy. Check this out, guys. The driver, I'm not even kidding. The driver is Billy. I know it is. That's 100% him. It looks like he's waiting until nighttime, which is great. It gives me a little bit of time to give him the best prank of his life. And, uh, oopsie. Sorry, Billy. Didn't quite see you there. Oh, boy. Sorry about that, man. Yeah, really? <laughs> I'm really not seeing you there, buddy. Let me just try and maneuver a little bit. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. This is a pretty bad maneuver. Oh, watch out for the wall. Sorry, Billy. Really didn't see you there. Oh, man. That's really wound him up. Hey, Billy, you don't scare me. Even with that gun. I'm Trevor. All right. We're crazier than you. <laughs> Yeah. Now, I would be kind and offer you a lift, but you're not big enough to climb on the truck. You know what? Let's just get him. <laughs> All right, Billy has officially been pranked. That means I pranked seven Halloween monsters. No, Amanda isn't a Halloween monster. <laughs> I pranked seven people at Halloween, six Halloween monsters, and Michael's wife. Can you think of any more, Trevor? No, I definitely don't. Oh, my days, this is Mike Myers. Oh, four. Oh, boy. Three of the most famous footballers are living in Los Santos. Ronaldo, Messi, and Neymar Jr. But I'm going to prank them so good that they might even quit their careers and never come back. This is going to be a blast because right now I'm outside Ronaldo's house and it looks pretty nice. There's supercars in the driveway. Let's be honest guys, this is Cristiano Ronaldo we're talking about. He's literally the richest football player in the world. I'm looking forward to pranking him because I got my tow truck <laughs> and I want you guys to guess what we're gonna do. I don't think you guys are gonna guess this. And since we're only pranking three people today, I'm skipping all of the light, you know, fun pranks. We're going straight in with the knockouts. <laughs> and to start things off, we're gonna completely smash Ronaldo out of this city. He is going to be so angry that I promise he will never want to come back. And oh my, oh my. This is a lovely car collection. Look at these. They're sparkling in the sun. Every single one of them is a million dollar supercar. Why does he have so many? Anyway, I need to sneak inside Ronaldo's house. And luckily for us, we're a master at lockpicking. Franklin will get through this door in no time. <laughs> I'm literally sneaking around Ronaldo's house. And he's got some pretty famous art pieces here. Check it out. There's some chairs. Hang on a second. Franklin, I think we got those chairs too. But I need to find something specific. Something which we can only find inside Ronaldo's house. This is gonna be tricky. Where on earth would he be keeping his phone? Well, actually, I'm looking for two things. His phone and some car keys. Hmm. What about through here, Franklin? 
Whoa, secret room to McDonald's. One second, Ronaldo, I thought you had a really healthy lifestyle. You're in McDonald's? Ronaldo has a secret McDonald's in his house just for those cheat days. <laughs> and on those cheat days, he either goes for a hash brown, a double quarter pounder with cheese, and a chicken McRap. They're actually some pretty good choices. They're literally my favorite items on the menu. But that's not his car keys. I gotta find his car keys or his phone. One or the other will do. Come on, they've gotta be around here somewhere. Where would they be? Let's see. Oh, here we go. I found them. Yes, I got the car keys. All right, Franklin swooped them up. <laughs> I got the car keys. The phone's gonna be kind of trickier because it could literally be in Ronaldo's pocket. And if it is, then we're gonna somehow get it out of his pocket, Franklin. We don't want to cause too much of a disturbance sneaking around Ronaldo's house. Wow, this place is massive. And I think Ronaldo is literally right outside. Let's see what he's doing. It looks like Ronaldo's doing some training. <laughs> And that doesn't look like fun. Well, he is the best footballer in the world, so he's got to do a lot of training. I can't believe this. Ronaldo is literally right behind me, and I'm trying to find his phone. I'm in his bedroom. The phone's got to be here somewhere. Let's see. Ah, uh, come on. I don't see it anywhere. Guys, I got a really bad feeling that the phone is with Ronaldo. Speaking of which, I can hear him coming back. Quick, Franklin. Uh, let's see. Uh, run. Go in here. Go in here. Run. Oh, my days. This is his bathroom. Okay, I'm just going to hide in here. Oh, yeah. I could really deal with a snack now, but first, let's get dressed in my bedroom. Oh, my days. Where am I? Um, this is the toilet. Oh boy, he's gonna need the toilet at some point. I'm the best football player in the world. I'm so nervous. If he comes in this room, we're screwed. I don't need my phone anymore. I'll leave it down there and uh, I can really deal with the toilet. <sighs> okay, let's see. Mm, actually, let's look in the mirror. You're the best. You are the best. You are Ronaldo. Ronaldo is right outside in the other bathroom. And I think he wants to come in here. Right, what is he doing? What can I hear? You are the best. You are the best. You, Ronaldo, are the best. We're the best. Oh, yeah. Look at these guns. Oh. I think he's flexing, Franklin. We gotta be extra careful. He's in the room next door, and we can't afford to get spotted. Sneak through the door. Oh, oh boy, oh my days. Okay, there's a mirror, there's a mirror. I think we're gonna have to crouch for this one. Let's just sneak through. Sorry, Ronaldo, coming through. There is literally a mirror on the wall. And I'm through. <laughs> we managed to sneak behind him. Oh my goodness. And it's a good thing we did because now he's in the toilet and he just flushed the loo. <laughs> That was so close. But check it out. There is Ronaldo's phone. I got the phone. No way. Now let's get moving. I got his car keys. I got his phone. This is exactly what I need. Because using this car key down here, I'm going to unlock every single one of these cars. It works for all of them because they're all the same. <laughs> and now his cars are unlocked. And now I've got his phone. I'm going to phone up his manager and tell him that Ronaldo quit. <laughs> this is literally the best prank we could have done. Hello, this is Ronaldo. I quit. <laughs> This is perfect. I just quit for Ronaldo. And the news should drop very shortly. And give it a few seconds. Give it a few seconds. Give it a few seconds. No, this is a mistake. Oh, he seems to think it was a mistake. Well, uh, in that case, Ronaldo, I think you better go into one of your cars. <laughs> this is going to be so good. This is a big mistake. Oh, guys, he's walking over to his cars now. Which one is he going to choose? It looks like he's going for the yellow one. I need to stop this. I need to tell them this was a mistake. Now, where are my keys? Sorry, Ronaldo. I'm locking the car now. And I'm putting child lock on. Now he's literally trapped inside. This is perfect. And just bear with me, Ronaldo. I know you can't really go anywhere, but you just want to say, don't go anywhere. I'm just going to go and get my tow truck. Hey, Ronaldo. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, you, stranger, get me out of here. Sorry, I, I can't quite hear you. Uh, is something about getting you out of here? Not a problem, Ronaldo. I got just the thing for you. <laughs> Guys, you are going to love this. He's going to be so angry. This is the best prank ever. I can't believe I'm doing this to Ronaldo. Literally the most famous and wealthiest footballer in the universe. <laughs> Even though he doesn't want to quit now, he's going to want to quit after this. From humiliation and maybe injury. Maybe We'll see. <laughs> we'll see about that one. Doo -doo. Hey, did someone say get me out of here? No, no, not like this. No, not this. Not this. What? Sorry, I, I can't hear you, Ronaldo. Everything's muffled. I, I'm inside a car and so are you. Can you get out of your car and tell me? I can't. I'm stuck. What's that, Ronaldo? I, I still can't hear you. Well, okay, don't worry. I'll get you out of here. Don't worry. <laughs> I got just the plan. I've got Ronaldo's car on the back of my tow truck and I'm going to take this somewhere special. Whoa, oh, oh, you're making me sick. Oh, oh, stop. What's that, Ronaldo? You really got to speak up, dude. I can't hear you. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> he must be getting so car sick from this. I know I would be. <laughs> hey, watch out for the traffic, Ronaldo. This might hurt a second. Oh, boy. This is amazing. Oh, 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 help me. Stop. Stop. Sorry, Ronaldo. I, I would if I could, but I, I, can't, I can't hear you, man. I'm just going to presume you're enjoying this. <laughs> just hold on for a second. I got somewhere really special to take you, Ronaldo. Really special. He's going to hate me for this, but luckily, he doesn't know who I am. I'm just a random person in this universe, and I am the most famous footballer on the back of my tow truck <laughs> who's stuck inside his car. Now, I'm just going to leave him conveniently on this train track and wait until the next train arrives. I'm sure it won't be too long. <laughs> hey, Ronaldo, can you... Oh, Matt, little help here, buddy. Little help. And perfect. We've left him on the train tracks. There is now nothing he can do. <laughs> Ronaldo, how you doing? I, I, I stopped towing you. You're out of there. Eventually, I did exactly what you told me to do. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Now. Yeah, I will. Don't worry. We'll, we'll figure out my days. There's a train. There's a train. <laughs> Hey, Ronaldo, it's nice knowing you, buddy. Have a good day. Oh, 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 no. This is perfect. This is too good. Bye. Have a good time, Ronaldo. Oh, my goodness. He's following you down. He's being carried with the train. That's amazing. <laughs> well, I don't think Ronaldo will be bothering us anytime soon. And I have a feeling he's going to have to quit football and leave Los Santos. Let's go and prank another famous football player. Can you guess who it's going to be? Go on, make a guess. I know you want to. <laughs> I'm pranking Lionel Messi, who is currently down there playing playing football with what looks like two fans or friends. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is that his amazing supercar is on the sidewalk over there. It took me ages to track this guy down, which is why I'm going to do a prank even crazier than the one I did on Ronaldo. Are you ready for the best shot ever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Shoot, shoot. Go on, go on. We'll save this. All right, let's go. Let's do this. I never thought I would see Messi playing football. W what's going on here? Oh, my days. Guys, he's, he's, uh, he's going somewhere else now. <laughs> Yeah. Where is he going? This is, you know what, guys? Wherever he's going, it doesn't matter because I <laughs> have an even better idea. It seems like they've gone to the skate park now. You know what? Whatever, Messi. Uh, clearly, they don't want to play football anymore. They're a little bit bored. <laughs> well, you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to start my prank. And to start things off, we're going to have to take Messi's amazing luxury super auto car. This is the nicest ride I've seen. This is way better than Ronaldo's. He's got such a better taste. Look at that Messi on the number plate. Look at that engine. It's gold. It's it's a supercar. I love the lights on this. This is a beast. And I'm going to drive this and keep this for myself. But this is only part of the plan. He actually needs to lose his car in order for this to work. So it's kind of convenient. So let's get inside, Franklin. Oh, to subscribe. Wait a second. Oh, my goodness. Guys, to unlock the car, I need you to subscribe to my channel. If you don't, I can't prank Messi. This is literally the second prank I've got in store today. There are so many more than this. I am not willing to fail. Come on, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Oh, jeez. Come on. He's going to be back like any minute now. I need you to subscribe. The door still isn't open. Opening. Oh, come on. I hate it when stuff like this happens. But just, just find the subscribe button. Press it. That's how we get the door open. Come on. Yes. Yes. I'm in. Amazing. All right. The door's open. Thank you so much for subscribing. Now I've got Messi's supercar. It's so fast. Look at this. <laughs> now, I don't want to take this too far away because I actually need to go back to that spot. So I think I'll just leave the car maybe in this alleyway. That's actually a really good hiding spot. Yeah, I'll be back for this car later. This is such a nice ride. Dude, this has to be worth $10 million. I'm not even kidding. Now I parked up Messi's ride. Wait, close that door. Franklin, we are not this stupid. Close the door. This is the most expensive car in GTA. All right, door closed, car locked. Let's go back to Messi. This was a super easy prank to come up with because it was kind of convenient. Everything just lined up together. Uh, it's right next to the taxi rank. We'll just grab a taxi. <laughs> And we'll pretend we're a taxi driver. Since Messi's lost his car, he has no choice but to accept me. We've already crashed the corner. All right, right. This is good. I'll just stay here until Messi comes to my taxi. And we'll put on some music. Oh, my days. I've got a radio. Yo, guys. What do taxi drivers like to do in their spare time? I don't know. You tell me. No, no. This was a question. I, 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 want, I want to know. Can you tell me? We don't do anything. Seriously? Oh, gee. All right. You know what? These taxi drivers are boring. Wait a minute. Messi's on the move. He's coming over to me. Oh, my days. Wait, Messi. <laughs> are you going to get in my taxi? Oh. Oh my goodness, he's gonna get in my taxi. What? <laughs> Someone stole my car. C can you take me home? Sure thing, Messi. Don't worry. And just because you're famous and really, really cool, I'm not gonna freak out or anything. I'm just gonna treat you like a normal person. Now, where's your home? Vinewood Hills, please. It's a massive house. You won't miss it. Vinewood Hills, you say? So, up there. Well, uh, okay. We're gonna take the long route, though. Sorry. <laughs> 
Where are you going? This is the wrong way. No, no, this is the right way, Messi. There's just some construction up there. There's just a little bit of construction. He has no idea where I'm taking him, but he must be a little bit suspicious right now. We can't be too slow in case he gets out of the taxi. <laughs> this is amazing. I have Messi in my taxi right now. And oh my goodness. Don't crush, don't crush, don't kill him, Franklin. Don't kill him. <laughs> hey, man, C can you slow down a little bit? You're scaring me. What, me scaring Messi? I'm really sorry, man. <laughs> really sorry. Oh, oh geez. Oh, don't, don't break that much. I'll, uh, I'll slow down for you. In fact, I think I'll slow down somewhere, somewhere around, uh, around here. All right, uh, you can get out now, Messi. This isn't my home. Please, no, I'm famous. What, you're famous? Oh, my days, you should have said something, Messi. No, seriously, you gotta get out now. Get out of the taxi. <laughs> Hey, guys, Messi's here. No, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Oh, my days. No, no, no. Guys, leave me alone. Leave me. Leave me. Leave. Go away. Go away. I'm, I'm not famous. I'm not Messi. Yo, Messi, give me an autograph. Give me a photo. I want a hug, Messi. Give me a hug. Come on. No, no, I'm not giving anyone a hug. Go away. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in the taxi. Let me in. Let me in. Come on. Go away, friends. Go away. This is not good. This is why I don't come to downtown. Oh, boy, guys. He's being completely swamped by fans. <laughs> well, Messi, it's been a pleasure. I'll see you later. Now everyone knows where he is. There is no way he's getting out of that anytime soon. <laughs> that was such a good prank. I can't believe how easy that was. All I had to do was steal his car and then drop Messi off in the middle of downtown. And that's him sorted. Uh-oh. Wait a second, I'm getting a phone call from Ronaldo. Wait a second, I thought I had his phone. Nobody pranks Ronaldo! Nobody! I'm coming for you! Uh-oh. I think Ronaldo's coming for me. <laughs> he must have survived the train. Well, I don't think he's very happy with me, but I don't think he's gonna find me. After all, he's gotta search the whole world to find me. There's no way he'll find me. Come on, Franklin, let's go and prank somebody else. But first, <laughs> I wanna get Messi's car. Well, all in all, that wasn't a bad prank, Franklin. I got Messi's car, dumped him in downtown, and I figured Ronaldo is still coming after me. So we might see him again. I don't think we will, though. There is no way he'll find me. I guess only time will tell, but... Ah, I don't care. We'll be fine. Let's go and prank the third footballer. You guys are gonna love this prank. Seriously, this one's gonna be insane. And I'm gonna need a friend for this. In just 20 minutes, Neymar Jr. is gonna land at this airport in his luxury golden jet. I know exactly where he's gonna land, and it's gonna be on this runway. What I'm gonna do is block this runway and force them to divert to Trevor's airfield, where he's gonna be waiting for them readily. <laughs> and if you thought pranks with Franklin were bad, you just wait till you see what Trevor does. I have a feeling they're gonna be even worse than anything we've done before. I got an idea. What if I just borrow a plane? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they won't mind. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is gonna do so well if we just leave this right about in the middle of the runway. <laughs> this will force them to divert. There is no way they can land anywhere else. The other runways are for totally different planes too. That's sort of do the trick. Adios Airlines. How suitable. <laughs> Adios Neymar Jr. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be perfect. Right, Franklin, get ready, get ready. He's gonna be landing in just a few minutes. We have a problem. Obstruction on runway. Diverting to Sandy Shores now. Ah, man. I can't believe that worked. And there they go. See you later, Neymar. <laughs> right, quick. Go to Trevor. Go to Trevor. He better be ready for me. <laughs> Good old passengers, please. Fasten your seatbelts and buckle in. This might be a bumpy landing. Look who's landed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is perfect timing. All right, Trevor, get inside your car and let's pretend we are the driver. Hey, hey, Neymar. Neymar, I know you're on the plane. <laughs> I am here to take you to your house. Don't worry, I heard all about the diversion. Not to worry, Neymar. I got your back. I don't actually know what Trevor's got planned for this. I'm just gonna go along with the plan and see how he decides to prank Neymar Jr. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Neymar? Hey, ran for a long drive. The plane diverted. It sucks. Ah oh, man, a plane diversion? That really sucks, Neymar. Don't worry, I know exactly where we're going to. And uh, <laughs> it suddenly tells me this trip's gonna be shorter than we think. Just gonna take you a little speed course around my airfield. I mean, <clears throat> the Sandy Shores airfield. <laughs> this is gonna be insane. Do you have any idea what we're gonna do, guys? You are gonna be so gobsmacked at what Trevor's gonna do with this that there is nothing you can do to, like, predict what we're about to do. <laughs> Just gonna take you on a tour of Sandy Shores. You gotta see this. It's the culture. It's, it's awesome over here. Now, this is, uh, this is actually a museum. This is gonna be so good. Alright, follow me, Neymar. Follow me. I'm just gonna give you a little tour. Hey, man. I just wanna go home. I promise, Neymar. Once we do this tour, I'll get you home. Alright, I promise. Just follow me. <laughs> I'm showing you the best part of this tour. Because down here 
This is the deepest hole ever to exist in the whole wide world. Literally, no pun intended. <laughs> what do you think? It looks pretty good. Whoa, whoa, careful there, man. Oh, sorry, did I almost push you down? Yeah, let me just sort that out for you. <laughs> Push him down! Oh no, I just sent him down there! Sorry, Neymar! Sorry, buddy! Okay, now's my chance. Go down and join him, Trevor. I just pushed Neymar down the tunnel. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Neymar, are you here? Oh, there you are, Neymar. Come on, get up. You'll be fine. Or don't get up. That's cool. That works as well. I'll, I'll find a way to get you to where you need to go to. Come on, Trevor. Let's pick him up. <laughs> oh, man, this guy's seriously heavy. Jeez. Oh, well, there is no way anyone's gonna find Neymar again. Sorry, Neymar. <laughs> Let's leave him. Mm, let's think about this. I got a couple of spots we could leave him. There is Death Watch. That's always kind of fun. There's Glass Bridge. Ooh, Glass Bridge is kind of fun. Let's put him on Glass Bridge. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know the rules. Hey, Neymar, wake up. This ain't a free ride, Neymar. Wake up. What is this, mister? Can you get me out of here, please? Oh, this is the prank. I don't even know if this is a prank anymore. This is too far. <laughs> well, guys, I'm sure you know the rules already. Neymar, I'm sure you probably know the rules. Uh, you got to get to the other side of this bridge. One of them works, one of the glass planes doesn't. Hey, let me just make it easy for you. Does this one work? Hey, that one might actually be the one that works. That one doesn't. All right, good. <laughs> you'll be fine. I, I promise you'll probably not do it, but there's a small chance you will. Go on, give it a go. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this. I did it. Yes, I did it. Wow. Oh, wow, he actually did it. No way. He survived the whole bridge. That's really impressive. Well done. It looks like he ran so fast that some of the panels didn't even have chance to fool. Well, um, congratulations, buddy. Um, I think I'll just leave you here now. <laughs> Quick, close the door. Close the door. And that is the last we see of Neymar Jr. <laughs> <laughs> See you, neighbor. Was that prank too far? Now, oh, you guys will have to let me know in the comments. After all, this was Trevor. What can we expect? Let's go and see what Franklin's up to. Sorry, Trevor. You just take things a little bit too far. Wait a second, Franklin. Who's that driving in that car? You! I'm coming for you! Wait a second. That's Ronaldo. That's Ronaldo! Ronaldo is coming right after me. Oh, my days. I better get back to my car. Get to your car, Franklin. Get to the car now! I don't plan on sticking around. No, not like this. Not like this. Go, Franklin. Go, go, go. Sorry, Ronaldo. Gotta get out of here. Come back now! No, 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 I'm not coming back, Ronaldo. <laughs> He's chasing me. He's literally chasing me. Luckily for us, I'm in a super duper fast car, but I also think Ronaldo is too. Have I lost him? Yes, I think I've lost him. Well, in that case, let's think of a better prank than the last one, Franklin. It can't be too hard to do. I'm at the police station because I need to steal a police car and a police outfit. When in doubt, this usually always works because we're dressed as a police officer and nobody is willing to argue with us. And I don't think Ronaldo really knows what I look like. We could probably dress up as a police officer and get away with it. Yes, we're in luck. An officer showed up just after his lunch break and he's got a coffee. Hey, officer. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> hey, how we looking? Franklin, I think you're looking smart, buddy. <laughs> He'll never suspect a thing except for the fact that, you know, <laughs> uh, he probably didn't do anything wrong. Let's think about this. What are we going to arrest him for? I mean, I reckon speeding is probably gonna work. Ronaldo must be pretty strong to come back from what I did to him last time. I mean, I literally put him in a car and let a train go into the side of it. That was insane. Here we go, the moment of truth. Is Ronaldo gonna believe me or is he gonna see straight through this? Hey, Ronaldo, open up. You're getting arrested for speeding. This is a real police officer. Get outside the house now. I did nothing wrong, nothing wrong. Oh no, you don't, Ronaldo. No, you don't. Oh, don't get back in the house now. Get down, get down, Ronaldo. I'm a real police officer. Down on the ground now. How dare you do Disobey an actual police officer, Ronaldo. I don't care who you are, you're going to jail for a long time. All I did was speed. How could I go to jail? Believe me, Ronaldo. A lot of things can happen when you're a police officer. Now get in my car. Now. This is so stupid. You should arrest the actual prankster. The prankster? Ronaldo, I don't know what you're going on about, man, but I don't know any pranksters. All right, just, just get in my car. You're going to jail. Now. Hey, Ronaldo, do you want to see something cool? Hey, officers, guess who's in my car right now? I don't know. I don't know. Let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. Um. Oh, I can't guess. I don't know. Tell me. Tell me. Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Who's that? Sorry, you had to hear that, Ronaldo. I, I know, right? How does someone not know who you are? <laughs> I think he's just messing with us. Anyway, speaking of messing with you, I totally am not messing with you, Ronaldo. You're really going to jail because I don't want you to find me on the down low and, you know, take me out. But we're not going to tell him that, guys. This is just the fourth prank. You know, just making sure Ronaldo is dealt with. I'll just edit some records on him. Make sure speeding actually is changed to um, robbery 10 times over. Uh, all right, perfect. Yeah, once he's in jail, there's no way he's getting out. I don't care if he was speeding two miles.
Mars Now rover. <laughs> I got him and I've made a whole new record for him. I'm inside the prison right now and I got Ronaldo in my gut. Well, Ronaldo, I'm sorry, buddy. This is the end of the line for you. No more football practice. No more time in the limelight. The only time you got is a lot of it, actually. Yeah, it's in here. <laughs> this is your time to shine. Ta ta time. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. See you, Ronaldo. Been a pleasure, buddy. I'll be getting out of here now. Bye. <laughs> go, Franklin. Go, 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 go. Ronaldo, don't even think about getting in my ride. See ya. <laughs> Fuck. Can't believe that prisoner. Guys, get a load of him. He actually tried to get out of prison. I didn't do nothing. I did nothing at all. I promise. Your record says you're the worst of them all. Don't believe a word he says. Mm -hmm. Guys, I got backup. Backup has arrived. What? Oh, for me? I, all I did was speed. Well, Franklin, we did a smashing job at that. <laughs> Ronaldo won't be coming after us anymore. He's going to be in there for the rest of his life, which is great. <laughs> Sorry, Ronaldo. I'll be happy. I'll, I'll come to visit at some point. Don't worry. <laughs> anyway, it looks like I've pranked Ronaldo, pranked Messi pretty good, and pranked Neymar Jr. We're on a roll, but I don't think we pranked Messi good enough. I mean, after all, I did just lead him in downtown. I want to prank him so good that maybe he could even join Ronaldo in prison. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> Let's see if we can. And I'm gonna keep this police car, you know, for another time. I feel bad for taking Messi's car, so I found another one. This, it's pink, it's not exactly the same, but it's a little bit similar. And uh, one second, it's almost done. There we go. Now it's done. All right. This is exactly what Messi wanted. I promise this is my sorry gift. I even got sorry on the number plate. This is going to make everything better. I just know it is. And Messi is over there. What are you doing, Messi? Looks like he's doing some building works or something. I'm really sorry about everything that happened. The whole mix up. I hope this will make do for now. <laughs> what is this, man? No, no, no. I want my real car. I love that ride. The, the real one? Messi, this is exactly... <laughs> Listen, I just want to make friends with you again. I promise. No, this is another prank of yours. I know it is. I know it is! Man, he's a little bit too smart for me. Well, you know what, Messi? Just take it or leave it, buddy. This ride is all yours if you want it. I'm sorry. I don't want this garbage. It's terrible. Hey, Messi, that's a really nice ride. It's small. It's a perfect town car. Gets you around Los Santos so perfectly. <laughs> now, whilst he's out there looking at that car and complaining, I am just going to quickly sneak inside the house. Whoopsie. <laughs> now, whilst I'm in here, let's just lock the door. Make sure he can't come inside. What are you doing? No. Ah, sorry, Messi. Too late. Just, just locking the door. <laughs> Jeez, he's knocking the door already. Don't make me shoot this door down, because I will. I will. Hey, we probably better, like, stay away from that door just for now. <laughs> Messi is right outside, and he's getting really angry. Let me in now. Sorry, Messi. You can't come inside. This house is mine now. Mine. <laughs> He's at the window. Hey, man. What's up? Hey, listen. This house is not yours. Just stay down, Franklin. Stay down. Whatever. I don't want this house anyway. I'll go to my yacht. Anyway, it's better than this. And once I get on my yacht, I'm going to send the police to this house and my friends. And they're going to mess you up. I promise. I promise. Eh, yeah, Messi out. Oh, wow. Messi actually left his house. <laughs> That's amazing. So I have access to Messi's house, but he said something about a luxury yacht. I didn't think he had a luxury yacht, guys. I kind of want to prank him on there, man. Since I still got that police car, I have just the right idea. Let's do this, Franklin. This is the life. Nobody can prank me on my boat. Now I'm here, I can relax and enjoy myself and figure out a way to get him back. No one pranks Messi. Nobody! That's a pretty nice yacht. I have no idea he would own something as expensive as that. But now I've got my friends at the police force, we can take this up a notch. Believe me, guys, Messi is gonna regret the fact he even stepped foot on that yacht. Let me just call on the radio. Hey, boys, ready for the strike now. Let's do this. Roger that. Planes incoming. This is gonna be insane, guys. You are not ready for this. Not even Messi is ready for this. We're about to sink his yacht in the most epic way possible. In fact, I can hear the planes already. Oh, man. Man, here we go. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> hey, guys, come on. Drop him. Drop him now. And any second now, they're going to explode the whole thing. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I just sunk the yacht with an airstrike. That's crazy. And bye-bye, Messi. There goes your yacht. My luxury boat. No. Who did this? It was you. I'm coming to get you. What's that? Can't quite hear you over there, Messi. L last time I checked, you're the one in the water. <laughs> well, my job here is done. Messi is not going to come after me again. <laughs> with Ronaldo in jail, Messi in the middle of the ocean without a house or a yacht, and Neymar Jr. on the other side of Glass Bridge. There is no way these guys are going to find me now. 
now. Is that Ronaldo calling me? You're dead. Guys, I think Ronaldo's outside of prison. He phoned me on his actual phone again, not from the prison. Hey, let's go back to his house and just take a look at what's going on. If he comes after me, we are not going to survive. I need to make sure he is pranked once and for all. Ronaldo has a ton of guards at the front of his house, and even more of them in his driveway and around his garden. Nobody comes into Ronaldo's house, okay? Nobody. Don't let anyone in. Yes, sir. Hey, guys, can I come in? I'm a police officer. No, keep moving. They won't even let me in, and I'm pretending to be a police officer. In that case, I need to find another way in. Not to worry, I'm sure there's... A way we could sneak in. I think I can see one already. We don't want to raise any eyebrows. Not too many. There's guards all over this house. But I think I found my way in. If we can sneak up these stairs, we might just be able to sneak past the guards. Let's take a look at this. Then again, there's a guard standing right there. Do you think I'll be able to sneak past him? I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's go through here. He hasn't seen me. He hasn't seen me. No way. <laughs> right, get him. Bam. Nice. These guys still haven't seen me either. All right, get this guy. Whoopsie. <laughs> You're looking in the wrong direction, mister. And just get this guard as well. Whoops, sorry, man. My bad. Now I've taken out every guard on this side of the house. We should be okay to start pranking Ronaldo. And for the first prank, we're gonna have to step foot inside his house. No one will see me through here. Perfect. Keep moving, frankly. Keep moving. Now open this door. And let's sneak in. One second. What are they saying? The alarm system is ready. If anyone steps foot inside this house, we will know. That's amazing. Thank you. They've added an alarm system, Franklin, which means I can't step foot inside there. Not to worry, I've got an idea. And for this idea, I'm gonna need to get this bunny rabbit. Excuse me, Mr. Rabbit, I just need to borrow you. <laughs> go on, rabbit, go, go, go. Yes, he set off the alarm. A bunny rabbit has set off the house alarm. That's incredible. All right, he's gonna be so mad when he finds out what's done that. Tony, Rocky, everyone else, uh, alert. Someone's in the house. Sir, we found the breach. It was this adorable bunny rabbit. Oh, he's so cute. You can't be serious. We're dealing with a prankster. This was him. I know it was. Every single guard has left their post, which means I have full reign over all of his cars. He's going to be so mad when I explode every single one of them. Franklin, let's get to work. Okay, one sticky, two sticky, three sticky, four, five sticky, six sticky, seven sticky. Well, there has to be at least $20 million worth of cars here. Like, so much money. <laughs> all right, nice. That seems to be the bunch. All right, let's uh, set them all off. <laughs> Actually, one last thing. I'm going to climb on the roof. On the roof. I can catch the reaction and Ronaldo won't even know where I am. All right, let's do this. Three, two, one, boom. <laughs> uh oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what was that? I'm out of here. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> okay. Ronaldo, I quit. We quit. We quit, Ronaldo. We're gone. Oh, bye bye, guys. It looks like you didn't quite deal with the job then. <laughs> So now he's got no guards. It looks like Ronaldo's just by himself. I wonder how he reacted to this. That's it. I'm putting an end to this. I'm calling my friends. We're gonna get this prankster real good. Oh, yes. Looks like Ronaldo wants a prank war. Well, Ronaldo, it's on. <laughs> so I wonder who he's contacting. Messi, Neymar, and Ronaldo. They just said all sort of them sent me a text. I'm dead. We're coming for you. Everyone knows my name. What do you mean everyone knows my name? We better go home, frankly. Just in case. Let's get home for a second to plan the next prank. You'll never guess what Ronaldo did. He told every single one of his fans who I am, which is so not cool. Now, instead of this just being between me and Ronaldo, every single person in Los Santos knows who I am and they don't like me. Look at this. If I go outside, there's all oh my days. There's people out there ready to get me. Go away, guys. Go away. There is literally no way to hide. Don't you dare. Oh my days. They're in my house. They're in my house. They came into my house. Run, Franklin. Run. They saw Ronaldo's tweet and they want to get me. Leave me alone. I'm not even kidding. Leave me alone. This was never between you guys. It was just me, Ronaldo and Messi and everyone else. Wait, did they tweet as well? I think they did. There's a lot of people coming after me. I need to find a way to sneak out of here. But first, I need to find something really undercover. Let's see. What have you got, Franklin? In to be something super duper undercover. Hang on, that looks pretty good. All right, let's go, Franklin. We're just gonna sneak out of here. There is only one person I can think of who can help me out. And they live at the other side of Los Santos. I don't exactly want to take my own ride. I need to steal one so no one can recognize me. Hey, excuse me, buddy. I just need to get your car. Thank you, ma'am. You're amazing. You're so good. Thank you. Just get out your ride. I need this car. It's a super car, too. This will get me there really quickly. Here we go. Lester's house. If anyone knows where these guys are, it's gonna be Lester. I need to know exactly where they live so I can go and pay them a visit and give them the ultimate a prank and make sure they don't prank me like this again. Oh, Lester, thank goodness you're in. I need some help. Everyone knows my name and I gotta find Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Neymar's address. I need to serve them the biggest prank ever. You've come to the right place. Babbity, babbity, bap. They're all living in the same place. In a bunker. Underground. 
Here's the location. Good luck! Wow, thanks, Lester. They're all living together in the same place? That's actually kind of convenient. Well, I have the location. Let's go and pay them a visit. And this time, we're gonna serve them the ultimate prank. Something to, you know, clear my name and make sure no one else comes after me. I've done a lot of pranks, and none of them have gone this far. This is too far! This is where they're hiding out. Inside an abandoned warehouse underground. I can't believe this. They've gone to such an extreme extent just to deal with this prank war. Where are they? This is just a garage. What if I try and switch off the power? That was my next go-to. Oh, wait a second. This is a fake power box? No way. They must be hiding in here. Now, where could they be? I don't want to stumble into them, so I'm going to have to do something else. Let's cut the power. <laughs> this is perfect. I have night vision, and these guys don't. So let's go and find them. Hello? Is anyone in here? Okay, what's through this door? Guys, Ronaldo, Messi, this is going to be insane. <laughs> Maybe they're down this corridor. Hello? Whoa, this is amazing. I can hear noises coming through this door. I think they're through here. All right, here goes nothing. I found them. There's Neymar, there's Messi, and there's Ronaldo. And they have no idea I've just walked inside. What happened to the power? Did you do that? Hello? Excuse me? Put the power on. Hey, guys, I don't think anyone's going to put the power on. <laughs> let's just take out Ronaldo first. Sorry, Ronaldo. <laughs> and let's get Messi. Bam. Neymar. Oh, dear. Bam. <laughs> All right, now they've all been taken care of. I need to get them inside my van. Trust me, this has everything to do with everything. Let's go. <laughs> oh, jeez, this is blinding. Switch it off, switch it off. Oh, oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> they're in the back of my van, and I'm doing everything I can to make sure they're as far away from here as possible so no one pranks me again. I'm going to the port of Los Santos because this is where they're keeping a cargo boat ready to go across the world. <laughs> and before they leave, I need to board this thing on the boat. You know, get this away as well. <laughs> hey, guys, I got one last container for you. That ought to do the trick. Right. Perfect, Franklin. Let's get out of here now. <laughs> and there they go. Bye-bye, guys. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> And they're leaving low Santos just like that. I should have done this from the start. They caused me too much trouble. Hey, you better say your goodbyes. You may never get the chance again. <laughs> They've arrived at an island in the middle of nowhere. This is perfect. Where are we? Where are we? I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Where are we? Uh, the help us. Oh, no. I can't believe he did this. No! Well, Franklin, that was pretty epic. Those footballers were pranked so good. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like and help us get to 6 million subscribers by Christmas. I know we can do it, but only you guys can help us get there. But thanks for watching. My name is Nort, and until next time, stay awesome.